showing up. Peace and peace and blessings, y'all. Welcome to the Goat James Kingdom show with B. Lee and A. Johnny. As y'all know, it is Sunday. It's noon Eastern time, but it wasn't noon Eastern time for Brandon. Brandon does not have a time change like everybody else, but everybody else is in a different time slot. But we're not going to change our platform. We're going to keep doing what we do best. So on today's show, we're going to talk about what everybody's talking about in basketball world. Michael Jordan being overrated and looking at the 80s and the 90s footage and comparing them to the GOAT of basketball, LeBron James. Because this is what we do in GOAT James Kingdom. We do not run from none of you guys. We are prepared for all of you guys. We have everything you need. We're going to do the eye test show today. Today is all about the eye test, right, Brandon? Because they say the stats yeah. don't matter. We're going to do the that eye test matter. today. So thanks for everybody joining us here on a Sunday afternoon as we will go live on our YouTube platform. We're also live on our Facebook group where we reached over 80,000 members this week. So shout out to all of our Facebook members. You can also follow us on TikTok, Discord, and Twitter. We are the Goat James Kingdom platform. We are about to bring it like none other. We have our normal panelists as usual. Shout out to Craig. Shout out to John. Shout out to Travis. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Goat James Kingdom platform. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Brandon, what do you got for us today, sir? Okay, so, um, gentlemen, I mean, you talked about it a little bit um, with the mm -hmm. first thing first with Nick Wright and Chris Bouchard was going back and forth, and, you know, Nick start talking about the the age thing, um, 21, 22. And when it got to 22, Chris Broussard was like, it's a like toss up between who was better, mm -hmm. um, LeBron or Jordan. You know, LeBron was in the finals and Jordan got, you know, he he, he lost in the first round, basically. So, um, <laughs> me, you, you know. You, you see how y'all mentioned team achievements? I don't want to hear nothing about titles because of making the finals. Who said anything about play. titles? Who said anything I'm about titles? We're not talking about titles. We're not talking about titles. We're talking about who. We're talking about who had a more. No, we're talking about who had a more successful season at the age of twenty-two. LeBron had the more successful season. He didn't have to as win a, a title. Standpoint, right? No, no. As he had, all together in the playoffs. He did better in the playoffs. He did better in the playoffs as well. He did better in the playoffs as well. Okay, I just want to establish we going. Okay, by Craig, we did. we are going to show the footage. We're we're going to show the footage, and we're we're going to decide ourselves. That he made no, the we're we're going to decide <laughs> ourselves. Oh, uh, who do we think were was better at twenty two? Because the first time, um, well, I'm gonna I'm not gonna show Jordan twenty two. I'm gonna show Jordan at, at twenty three when he scored the sixty three points. So the first time I I watched that, that was like my first revelation of you know Kobe Bryant is really this good because throughout time Jordan was always the best and when I watched that game when I was in college I was like Kobe at 22 was was well Kobe at 23 was better than Jordan at 23 um let's just see how this thing played out because I know John Sally was saying that Kobe Bryant was a greater what was better than Jordan at that time and that everyone was like yeah he's crazy I remember Vince Carter and Jason Kidd was like that doesn't make any sense no one's on Jordan's level so that's one of the reasons why I actually watched that game and I was like wow Kobe Bryant is is like right up there with with Jordan I think Kobe was like Shaq just left, so you know I've watched Kobe throughout his career. You know my favorite player growing up was Penny Hardaway and everything. So I know Penny and Jordan used to go back and forth to like took together. And when LeBron came in the league, you know I didn't really say LeBron was the best player ever till he won his first title. But I always do that basketball wise. LeBron was better, just like um, Gary Payton says. LeBron does everything on the court. Me personally, I think LeBron's a better offensive player than Michael Jordan. I think LeBron's a better defensive player than Michael Jordan. But, you know, let's just see the footage. So let, let me bring up um, the first one is the 63-point game, which a lot of people say this is the greatest um, the greatest um, playoff game in NBA history. I don't know what they're talking about, but this is what people say. So let me bring that up real quick. I got to put it on, on, on mute over the Chicago Bulls who may be a little quicker but they prefer not to run at least they didn't in the first game all right so I'm gonna put this this on mute and we're just gonna watch how great Jordan is you know he was 
you know, like 180 pounds. No one, everyone says Boston's like probably the greatest team ever. But as we can see, you know, Jordan, Jordan is, is, you know, he's great. Like no one's taking anything away from Jordan. Everyone knows Jordan is a great basketball player. But uh -oh. I don't know, just watching this game. The right-hand merchant. Uh-oh. Like, just watching this game, I don't see how people can say Michael Jordan at 22 was better than LeBron at um, 22. But this is Jordan at 23. Yep. So. Going left. Can't pick it. Going left. You can't pick up. You got to pick up his dribble after two dribbles. Look, there it goes. I mean, two he, dribbles. Pick it up. There he goes. There, again, if he listen, he goes left. He's gonna pick he up the ball two after two dribbles. Ah, uh, listen, he's gonna take. <laughs> he's gonna take two dribbles and pick up the ball when he goes left. Disaster. Listen, listen, listen. Again, what what shows this is a great game is the stats. Looking at this, no says it's a great game. Look, horrible defense. Horrible defense. What are you talking about? Okay. It's hard to this defense that you guys are talking about, that's an air ball. That's an air, air ball. Like, that was an air this ball. defense that everyone is talking about is not this great defense that everyone great says. And I, I have a few games of Jordan. Smothering defense. I have not okay. seen one Look, game oh, was great smothering defense. Smothering defense. They call the foul. They call the foul Look there. How many okay. people in the Look, fight. Look, they call another foul. Where? It was a lot of people in the practice. I mean, one was ISO on top of the key. Look, look. He's going to go right. He's going to go look right. He's gonna go right. Oh, but left. Oh, crazy. Yeah, One and dribble. he picked up his and he picked up his dribble. He's gonna go right. He's gonna go. What happens when he look? He's gonna look with the where's the left hand? There you go. Pick up the look. 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 Gotta go right again. Look. 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 Pick up that. Look. Exactly. Pick up his dribble after two dribbles. Every time he in the paint, you see five jerseys in the paint with him. Oh my God! There you go with the five jerseys in the paint. What are they doing in the paint? They're not even jumping. They're they're. I mean, come on, y'all. There this, go. The, the right hand I mean, man. Two, two, two dribbles got to go right. It's crazy because he Great hit the job. left lane wide open to go back right. Look, Boop, pick up Barton. two dribbles, two dribbles, less than a dribble, two dribbles. <laughs> we understand at this time, at this time, yeah. Jordan was yeah. not developed as he was. So, so, Boop. so, so we get this. This time, Jordan was not as developed yeah. as he was um, later in his Look, career. One dribble, pick up it up. Thirty. Look, Chucking up bad boys. shots. Yeah. A lot of these are bad shots. Look, look, go right. Where are my bad shots? This is third year in the league, right? Who, yeah, who, this, who, is, who. this is second year. This is second year. Pick up the ball after, after two dribbles. Oh, the second year. Okay, this is the second year. This is the second year. Yeah, this is second year. I mean, but the thing is, these, right. this is not great defense that you guys love to brag about. This is not the greatest playoff game ever. Look, when this he goes left, y'all see how many times he goes left. Y'all see that left hand. This was the greatest playoff game. I ain't never hit nobody. A lot. A lot. Dude, of I don't know. Great great play. Play. Well, oh, don't say God. that. Right. Is, Greg, don't do that. Highest, the they highest said he was God. This is the most points oh scored God. by a play in the playoffs. Look, look, Greg, look again. On, two dribbles. You don't pick up the ball. One dribble. Two dribbles. Switch to the right hand. There you go. Okay. There you go. Good defense. Yay. They go right hand, go to the right, pull up, air, air ball. ball. Air ball. Right hand, the right hand bandit. Look, can't cross over left. There you go. The right hand bandit. Give him the ball on the right side because that's where he's going to be the most effective. One dribble, pull up. Hey! Right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand. Oh, 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 no lefty. Air ball. <sighs> right hand, right hand, pull up. Bam. Yeah. And they're losing. And they're losing this game. Def hand, pick it up after two dribbles. Jordan's not passing the ball. Look, turnover, like he said, turnover. Turnover. That's going left. Turnover. Boop. Brick. Like. And he like, scored sixty-three. Okay. He scored sixty-three. We understand that. Shots. Okay, so so we're. <laughs> so so I'm. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm on it, to Brandon. I'm on it because they said we couldn't have the eye test. I, that's what my eyes see. But you know what the stats say, Brandon? All right, you want, all right. You, you want to know what the, the stats say? Okay, oh, go ahead, Brandon. okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. This is this is Le LeBron James at, at 22. This is LeBron James. He's going to show this. Show him in the This is LeBron James. That's, that's Detroit. That's Detroit in the that's playoffs. what you're talking about. Cherry look, look. Pick. This is the Cherry. playoffs. Look, this is him. Look, what, what are we Cherry picking? What are we talking about? Turn it to his left this shoulder. This is the playoffs. Look, give me the ball. This Watch this. Oh, I'm going to go left. Get I'm gonna dribble. Oh, there we go. There we go. This there is we not go. cherry pick Good. anything. This is 
This is not cherry. This is a playoff intensity game. In your same, mouth. Same Boom. pull up. Okay. In, in your mouth. Going left. Like, hey, going left. Two dribbles. Two dribbles. Two dribbles. Bam. Two dribbles. Bam. There we go. Left. LeBron is left-handed. Garbage defense. Good. Garbage defense. Boom. LeBron is left-handed. Here we go. So look what he do with his opposite hand. Boom. Look at that. You ain't see Jordan doing that. We ain't see Jordan doing that. Yeah. Look at they, the wait, wait. Oh, wait, rewind wait. that, Brandon. Rewind that, Brandon. Rewind that, Brandon. Please, rewind that, Brandon. Come on, Please. come on, Scotty. That, I just want to. I just want to have some fun. Extra work. Now, I don't. I don't know how I. Now this is ABC. Disgraceful. Look, they I don't know where, where you want me oh. to rewind it. No, 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 okay, no, no. You good? You good? We having fun. This is what we have all day. It's he look. Pick. He ain't got no. Like the pick. is mouse. Boom, uh, look at that Adam pass. Jordan at the look, same age. Look, look, how far, look how far they're sticking LeBron there. They're sticking LeBron 40 he feet. Goes left with they're sticking lead. him 40 feet from he's the rim. He's miles ahead of Jordan. Look, got Chauncey look. Phillips on him. He's supposed he's to go look, right. Force him right. Lad. They force him right. Chauncey he does Phillips his move. Chauncey Phillips Danny Ainge. That's not how I have that Here conversation. Thank you. Chauncey Billups or Danny. Look, force me right. I'll, I'll still get to my really shot. Saying, you're really talking about Chauncey Billups and Danny Ainge, really. Yeah. But look, yeah, I really. Get, and, and get my shot. Prince Garden. Well, Jordan is not six Tayshia nine. Prince. Look, they say, Prince. Look, they say LeBron Tayshia couldn't Prince. post up. They say LeBron Tayshia couldn't Prince. post up. They say LeBron couldn't post up. What's that? Miles of head. Look at the pass. At look age. at the pass. Miles of head. Look at this. It's not even close. Face him up. Boom. In your in your face. Let's go. Here we go. Who? Look, multiple defenders on him. Let's go. There ain't no plumbers on the court. There ain't no plumbers on the court. <laughs> and this is all LeBron this, this shot to go to Miami though, right? Look, no post up game. There. Right? No no post up game, right? He was posted Fade up away. in 2007. Look. At 22. Look at the defense. Look how many people surrounding him. You talking about there was no one in the paint. Look. LeBron's a man, he's so far ahead of Jordan, it's not even funny. He was a better driver, a better shooter, better all around. Fundamentals, everything. Yeah, did they went. I see Jordan get clapped like that. Jordan didn't get touched. Look, boom, left hand. <laughs> and that Detroit team is a better defensive team. Than Look, ball. you want to stay off of me? Okay, let's do this. That Bro, Boston boom. team lost one home game. Look, that Look, season on the full season. run. Look, <laughs> on, all the way. Have Ben Wallace. <laughs> boom. They had they had um. Watch this. Web. So Watch I this. Boom. Web. Another Hall boom. of Fame. Oh, boom. crossover! Boom. Oh my God. And they're winning this game. Jordan was losing his game. There we go. Again, easy. All day. LeBron is miles ahead of Jordan. Well, you know what happened? They both miles ahead NBA of Jordan. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try to say something about stats. <laughs> yeah, he did say something about stats. Look at that. Where's the hard foul on Jordan? I see that's a hard foul right there on LeBron. Don't matter. Again, same thing. You can put whoever you want. They put the whole team on them. Look, the whole That's team. That's the whole team right there, for sure. Okay. Miss. What do you mean that? Everybody One guy wins. at the top of the key. He Rick. scored 40 something points in this game. 25 so, out, of, out of 20. <laughs> let's see. 41% for those playoffs. Clutch, LeBron. Oh, 25 okay. points. Great job out of you. Now you're talking 28% stats. 28% from three. Sure. Talking stats. Look, so Mike, now you want to talk Mike stats. The same age. 43 points on 51% shooting. On three games, in job. three games, in three games. Jordan played three games. Okay. Was he LeBron, lost won, the NBA LeBron won 12 in games round. in those playoffs. Jordan won he zero. Lost he won three he games. Too, hey, right? look, look, bam, look at that. Nobody boinked that Boston team in look the at this. that season. Look at this. We showed you Jordan losing. You was happy about we, we, This is a win because of LeBron, too. This is not a loss. Look, from the three-pointer, pull up. Jordan couldn't do this. <laughs> Jordan just couldn't do this at this age. Jordan wasn't doing this. This, this, this is to win the game. This is to win the game. The nine clutch person to win the game. Going left. That's a right. He no, went he went left. left. He went left. He went left. He went and finished with his right. He went middle and went all right, right. All right. All right. Let's let's go go ahead and bring this, this uh, game back back on because let let's see oh. Jordan. Let's see Jordan again. Uh huh. Let's see Jordan. Let's go. Look at this tough defense. Orlando Woolwich. Yeah, look, is... look at this tough defense. Look at this tough defense. Go left. I see the same defense being played. 
You do. No, you don't. That's the problem. Sure you do. That's the problem. No, you don't. No, you sure don't. You do. like, yeah. You definitely do. do. Yeah, that's what you see. Well, one, if you watch the Detroit game, you can see them playing zone against LeBron. They can't play look, zone in this look, no muscle mass bird. Like, no, look, 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 like, look at that. No muscle mass bird. No muscle mass bird. Oh, muscle mass. Here we go. Muscle mass yeah. argument. There we no go. muscle mass bird. There we go. Yeah, yeah that's Tayshaun my eye test. Is a specimen, right? All Jordan is Jordan hit Ooh, like Tayshaun two Prince, jumpers yeah. and, and all layups and free throws. That's that's all he's doing. LeBron hit everything, doing everything. <laughs> Jordan was losing this game. That's all I know. He was losing. All of this was losing. This is stat patty. I mean, Look Jordan it. missed like 20 shots this game. Yeah. How many he make? Did he I mean, he like, shot 40-something. Yeah, I think in he the made side of backboard. He made 25 or something like that, 20-something. Aaron Adams, I am the voice of reason. Trust. Look at Air that ball. ball. Come on. I mean... Come on, look at the... Where's the three-point shooting? At, look Where's at these the malnourished players that he's going against. All, all, the, all these shots, all these shots, all these shots. This, this is supposed to be the greatest playoff game ever. This is, all these shots are within 15 feet of the rim. All these shots. And half of them he's missing. He's making basically layups and like three or four jumpers. Look. As opposed to... Breaking. Okay, they I always mean, say LeBron James, all, all he do is shoot layups. I mean. Oh, look at that Danny A's defense. Look, look, look at his hands <laughs> inside of his kneecaps. <laughs> Jordan still can't score on that. He said, this is ridiculous. Mean, this is ridiculous that you guys have been telling lies all these years about this great 80s defense. They're not even okay. trying. Look at Danny A. He's looking like. A, a Walmart greeter. <laughs> Probably his other job. Like, hey, are you going to try? Why try? Huh? Yeah, this shit, is, this shit is old. That's what I'm saying. It's like looking at the 60s and the 70s. It's the 1900s. They ain't call that glass either. <laughs> Hey, let's let's do this, man. Cause you know what? That's 1986, right, Brandon? Yes, that's yeah. 1986. So let me, let's finish this game. So, so I can pull up another one. Right. Because the okay. problem is, you Jordan fans uh -huh. don't watch games. They do not watch Michael Jordan play. That's, that's the problem. They just no, watch right. the same, Brandon. They just watch the same 20 highlights. Yeah, no, no. They're gonna go to the stats, right? Because in this game that you're talking about, Michael Jordan, Brandon, Michael it's, Jordan, Brandon, it's 21 highlights. Hold on, wait. In this game that Michael Jordan, the game that Michael Jordan scored sixty three points in, he had twenty one free throws. Jordan was nineteen of twenty one from the free throw line. It was a two overtime game, all just he, like the game. Yeah, all he does is free throws and layups. He and was twenty. Two, he was yeah. Ten he, was, he was twenty two of forty one from the field, which is basically fifty four percent from the field, right? And he scored his sixty three points. He had six assists on four turnovers. He had five rebounds. Right? That's what Michael Jordan does best. Five and five or five and six. But LeBron in the same game, right, took only 33 shots to score 48 points, shot 40, I mean 55 percent from the field in that same game, had nine rebounds and seven assists only on two turnovers. And shot three pointers, two for three on from the three point land. And he only went like, to the free like throw if, line 14 times. Like, he was 10 or 14 from the free throw line. Like if you didn't know Michael Jordan has shot 20 something free throws, you wouldn't even think this was a good game. You wouldn't even think this is a good game because how, well, how many shots he's missing. That's the that's why the stats matter. That's why all this doesn't matter. Watching this, it doesn't help Jordan fans. Y'all told us to go look at the eye test. 1986, Jordan didn't look as good as 2007 LeBron. Hey, Travis. All right, so, you know, so you know, let, let me go, go ahead and bring, bring up another game of Jordan. Don't worry. Travis and Craig came with the ammo today. That's their job. Yeah. Keep cutting with it. Listen, keep I mean, they, they have to defend it. They've been yeah. it their whole life. So, so we, this is we're Jordan. done with the 90s. This is Jordan in, in 96, uh, game six, to, to win the title. You oh, know, that's, we when like, all, that's when uh -huh. Dennis Rodman got all them offensive rebounds this game. He got like 11. That's Jordan missing a short and three. <laughs> Layup? Oh, well, he, Jordan usually only make layups. Yeah, that's what he usually makes his layups and free throws. 
go. Jordan was not that great of a mid-range shooter as people like to see. I mean, in, in the regular season, it's okay. But when it comes to playoff time, Jordan be throwing up bricks. Look, he's having trouble. Gary Payton, like 6'3", 170 pounds. And he can't even get open. And he was injured that uh, series, too. Look at that. Going left. I don't know how someone could watch this and be like, oh, Michael Jordan is way at worlds better than LeBron James. I, All right. He's never better than LeBron James. He gets 21. All right, All right. Well, let's come compare on, the come, worst come performances Craig. between the two, and let's let's go. Show show you show me the worst. Look, Jordan did in the finals. Show this me is, the worst. This is this is Game Six to win the title. Yeah, they, they win this. Game. Yeah, Craig, what are you talking about? Why, not wait, game so, Craig, Craig, are about. you saying that, are you saying Layup. Jordan had bad games? Is that what you're saying? I said Ooh. I said the '96 was his worst. Out of comparing to his other final series, is the Air worst ball. he ever played. Yeah, Seattle was his low, lowest scoring um, um, final. Yeah, what, 25, 26? It, it, it was like twenty. It was like tw- between twenty four and twenty six. So, so Jordan Jordan had a bad game, and his team still won. Is what you're saying? In the finals, at that tur- another turnover. Jordan scored twenty two I mean, points that game. Had five turnovers. Just look. Just, I'm, <laughs> don't, do not worry. I got. I got more. I got more. I got more because you guys don't watch Michael Jordan play, so we have to do this for y'all. We have to make sure you actually see yes. Michael Jordan play basketball. Yeah, not those right. 21 highlights. Right. Not 20, but 21. Yeah, 21. Uh, not not those, those 21 highlights that they show from the 80s. One of those five turnovers. One of those five turnovers right there. There you go. Look. There you go. Look. The short and three-pointer, break. All right. As we see. <laughs> I mean, let me, let me go pull another one for y'all. Let me go pull another one. No, this is Michael Jordan's greatest game, apparently. Um, the game six where he won the title for his sixth ring. Let me go go ahead and, and pull this footage. Let me go ahead and pull this footage. So you're going to even pull up an even smaller lineup. <laughs> that was oh, Jordan. on Jordan? Of course, of course. They get they get they get back court. They get short, short and three point line. No, that's that's ninety eight. They backed it up. They backed up the line. There you go. Going left, two dribbles, pick up the ball. There we go. Here we go. Uh oh. I'm sad. All all we're showing is is Jordan bad plays. No, this is this is Michael Jordan's entire game. He scored forty five points this game. One rebound, one assist. LeBron does everything on the floor. If, including getting his team, teammates involved while getting double digits and rebounds and assists. Every player this is why Jordan we say team, this is why we say LeBron James is better Jordan, than Michael Jordan. Every, every teammate on Jordan team played without him. Let's go see what they did without him. They, I bet you they didn't score just as much. As I'm pretty sure. Them. I'm pretty sure they had a, a above a 500 season. <laughs> they champions right here. They won 60 plus games. I mean, I mean, look at it. Yeah, because like you said, they're t- they're the team. Look. Yeah, they there won. Up. I mean, all he does is make layups and free throws and like three jumpers a game because he shoots 20 of them. Of course, he got to make some. He's not going to miss them all. Uh oh, they go to Alley. Jordan's getting hot. Give it to me. Give it to me. I got this. Look. What's that, a travel? Yeah, he traveled. Well, Jordan oh. never traveled because he did there. Oh, he was hitting the threes. That's when he was on fire. He hit the threes. I mean, he scored 45 points. But as you can see, he like he takes so many shots that their team is only scoring like 80 points because he won't pass the ball. Scotty got hurt this game, right? Yeah, he was hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah this game is hurt. Like, like George, George is great. Don't, don't get us look, wrong. Look, look, look what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, what they, they, they know they ain't going to get the ball. They know they ain't going to get the ball. They tell him this dude so many, so many shots. Man, they've been playing with Jordan all year. He so many shots. Shot. He's gonna go <laughs> right. He's doing his right hand. Missing shots. Michael Jordan had one rebound and one assist this game because all he do is shoot jump shots. What game miss. is this, Brandon? What game is this? Game six, nineteen ninety eight. The game that he hit the the, the shot to win his sixth title. Okay. Let me let me go. Let's go. Okay. Well, if you remember, he said a lot of his shots came up short, and that's why he let the uh, hand uh, stand up like that, so he really gets a march on the ball. And they, and you know, they always want to say, "Oh, wow. Kobe Bryant's not this." Wow. Kobe, like, Kobe wow. Bryant could do better than this. He yeah. done better than this. 
Look at who's guarding Michael Jordan. Yeah, and why is he missing so many shots? Of course, I'm going to have an open lane if I had a shot. Why is he missing so many shots versus these players? I didn't have a player that could score 40. I had a Pippen that can give me 18. So, of course, I'm going to have to score 40. Every Lies. Time. Lies. Now he was giving you 22. He give he, you more than that. If, if, if Michael Jordan's not ball hogging. All he do is best shots. Yo, the, wait. The Chicago Bulls took 67 shots this game. Jordan took 35 of them. What are y'all talking about? Nobody else can shoot. Everybody else on the team this game shot above 50% besides Michael Jordan. What are y'all talking about? Y'all be lying. That's why the stats tell us the truth. Because you want to tell us to look at the film. Look at the film. And then we're going to look at the film. Then you're going to tell us he scored 45. Well, of course he's going to score 45 taking 35 shots. Who's not going to score 45 points taking 35 shots in an NBA game, bro? Who's not going to do that? He, he was 40, this is one of Michael Jordan's best games ever. He was 45, 1 and 1, right? 45, yeah. 1 and 1. Look at <laughs> Win a turnover. Win a turnover. Look at this. Look, Come he on. passed it. They give it right back to him. What the fuck? Because you they know they ball? have to. They got to give him back the ball. Do? He's going to be That's upset with you. He cussed you out and punched you he in practice. Yeah, he Steve passed Kirk, Steve Kirk Jordan got mad because Scotty Pippen hit a three-pointer. Exactly. Come on now. Yeah, I remember that. Play. And LeBron, yeah, and LeBron, wait, wait, game? while LeBron, is while LeBron, and, and, and while game? LeBron, while LeBron passes back to his teammate and tell him, game? you're hot, shoot it. Is he got, did, did he get mad at Scotty this game? Is that the game, is this the game you're referring to? That he you got mad at Scotty in practice. Yeah, it was a series. It was the series. It was against, it was, it was against Utah. It was against Utah. I don't know which game it was, but it was versus Utah. this game you showed me Watch the defense on this play. Why didn't they get the ball out of Jordan's hand right here? Because you can't. So that's not an offensive foul? Nah. That push off? Okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. And mind you, it's still five seconds left. That won the game, but they, they had to stop him on the other side. Yeah, they had to stop him on, yeah, on the other end. Okay, so so let's let's go go to another LeBron James game. Mm-hmm. Real Chalmers. This is actually the greatest playoff game ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ever. Boy ever. God. You have to win this game or you get him broken up. That's it. Against against Hall of Famers. Look at this. The team with a defensive player of the year award on it, yeah. Look at mm-hmm. that. Look at LeBron this. LeBron, LeBron can't post up. LeBron can't post LeBron. up. Oh, wait, LeBron can't post up. Le- Le- LeBron that's makes his jump shots. Uh-huh. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was a right shot. We, we, we showed Jordan. We showed Jordan with efficient. teammates. He had he had Robert Parrish as a teammate. Or left. Yeah. Jordan could never do this. What LeBron James was doing. Jordan got the ball in his left now. Uh, I don't even need, I don't need stats for this. This ah. is greatness. I don't even need stats for this. Even if we show 2011, you're not going to show LeBron making bad plays. Let's go. Uh. Sure you are. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, LeBron, LeBron even, 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 even in game four, even in game four, you're going to see LeBron was rebounding, assisting, and doing everything. He just wasn't shooting because he was getting his teammates involved. Yeah. That's a difference. Let's go with that. And then, he had, that. And then in game five, he had a triple-double in game five. So don't go there. Game four didn't lose the series. Michael Jordan is better than this guy. I just don't understand. No, they can't. I don't they know can't. what these guys are looking at. They want to go 2011. What are you they, looking at? We didn't go to tw- we didn't go to uh, the 1989. We went to we games go to that matter. We didn't go to 91. We didn't go to 93. We didn't go to 97. We, we went to games that matter. We, we went, went to the we game. We, we went to Michael went to Jordan's ones, greatest games. We went to Michael Jordan's greatest playoff games. Show a better. We went to Michael Jordan's greatest playoff games. That's what we did. Showing Jordan scoring 63. You're arguing against showing Jordan scoring 63. At the, the six ring game, and you arguing yeah, versus yeah, those two games. We arguing yeah, versus when he win titles. <laughs> when he win titles, that's what you're arguing against. No, I'm uh, y'all cherry picking. Y'all, y'all picking his you're worst cherry play picking. This is a must no, win game. No, we're not. We this picked his 63 game. point game. How is that his worst performance? Well, why got the 91 when he had the highest average for assists as his nine point guard? Why you didn't pick that one when he was? We did pick. The, we did pick that series no, again. So, so George the goat because he can pass. Wait, right, so George the goat because he can pass. I didn't see. So George the goat because he can pass. I didn't see the 93 huh? finals when he was 41, eight and seven. I didn't see that we, finals. No, we showed you the finals when he was 45 uh, points. Of course you don't like that one. that one. Of course you're going to show Why not? That's not one of Jordan's greatest playoff of games? 
That's not one of Jordan's play, greatest playoff games. It's playoff. It was. It was a playoff. All right. All right. All right. So, so let me go to um, Game Six of the '97 Finals. No, well, I couldn't go to it, Brandon. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Because uh, we're we're only showing the the great games by Michael Jordan, and we're just going to compare him to LeBron James. That's all. I wish y'all would tell me this so I can get videos too, so we can do this as collaborative effort, not y'all just pick up videos that y'all want to show. Oh, now that's how you want to do it? Yeah. How is, how is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me pause this. Let me pause this. How is us showing Michael Jordan great games, cherry picking games? In the last one, Wait. Jordan. No, no, let him answer. No, 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 Jordan. No, no, no. Let, let, let me, Craig answer. Craig answer that. No, no, no. What'd you say? Why, what? How how I'm cherry picking games when I'm picking games, his sixty three point game and the and the title games that he won, the ring in. How is that cherry picking? Those are not supposed to be his best games. They won the game. Those wasn't to me. That wasn't their best games. Oh, okay, he was past his prime after ninety six. So every oh, oh, both wow. of those series. Wow. Well, he showed a game. Wow. He scored sixty three wow. and they lost. Okay. They no, I, 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 I need just wow. okay. show you. Michael Jordan, because he's past his prime. But Michael Jordan is still the best player in the league, making these jump shots. And you're saying that Lord we're being unfair. He, he, had, he had damn near 40 points this game. He had damn near 40 points this game. Which game is this one? After game 96, 96 1997. Every final appearance, he shot under 50%. So, of course. <laughs> I mean, they they still won, but I'm just saying he he wasn't he wasn't what he was from '91 to '93. At the first three feet, he was a shell of himself in the second three feet. Everybody knows that, but he was still that great. Okay, okay. So let me pause it here. So, Craig, when did when did Michael Jordan become this player that we could say LeBron was not? When '91 to when did Michael Jordan become this player that we could say LeBron was not? Which which, which year did Michael? Because '94. Through the end of his career, he was not. Um, when did it start? Because it ended in, in 93. So when did it start? I, I, what do you mean when LeBron was not? When did it start that Michael Jordan was better than LeBron as a basketball player? Because it wasn't 1986 and we just saw that. Was it 1988 that we could say LeBron was never better than Jordan did? Like what? When did, can we say that Jordan was superior than LeBron James? You're talking about that one year? Maybe that what, what, see, this I don't thing. know when. What, when he was better? Yes, yeah, when? What year, you, you what year out, was Jordan out. so I, – I, I, what year was Jordan so great that LeBron never matched that, that LeBron never showed us that he was equal to that? Because we're telling you LeBron's better all the way across the board, but you're saying the 80s Jordan we can't use because that's cherry-picking. The late no, 90s Jordan we can't use because that's cherry-picking. But, but we're not picking it. When? What What part of Jordan's career can we go look at that says this is why Jordan is greater than LeBron James? Uh, I would say that I would say the uh, between eighty eight to ninety three. Okay, okay, okay. Let me stop you there, Travis. Hold, hold on a second. Nineteen eighty eight to ninety. Uh, Michael Travis. Jordan. Mike. I know. I, I know you need Travis. Michael no, I said Jordan. My name is not Travis. You called me Travis. Well, I told Travis to wait because I, I know he's about to say say something. That's why I told, told him to wait. I wasn't <laughs> talking to you, Craig. But anyways, Michael Jordan from eighty eight to ninety was nowhere in the league of of LeBron James. He was one hundred and ninety pounds. Didn't even hit the weights or anything. But LeBron James <laughs> superior at the age of twenty one. So LeBron is better because he's taller than. That's what they're taller than. No, he, he was, was just a superior man. player. He's bringing up his physical. No, it wasn't. That has a lot to do with it. That's why Michael Jordan couldn't even get to the hole versus the Pistons. He couldn't even go to his left and make jump shots. They forced him. Even when Scottie Pippen couldn't, like, he was had that migraine and they needed the well, team Jordan to get on so Jordan's bad, back. He and he couldn't do it. He to pick up a basketball, so. <laughs> That's for a lot of players. He's not the That's, only one. I mean, he was I mean, so bad. Michael goal, Jordan learned, learned, learned from Dr. J. Goal. Do you say Michael Jordan's not better than Dr. J? No, do you say Michael, that? Michael Jordan is so great that y'all have no to invent things Dr. about him. No one's saying Dr. J is overrated. No one has a show saying Dr. J is overrated. Yes, I've heard people say Dr. J is overrated. I've Who heard it. Dr. J is We've overrated. heard. I've heard it from Jordan fans because that's what they do best. You heard. I haven't heard it, so it doesn't. Apply. Again, Craig. I've never heard again, that. Craig. You guys have the luxury to sit back and pretend none of this happens. We don't. 
You have that luxury. We don't. It happens. So the next time it happens, tag me. I want to see this because no one talks about Bruh, Dr. James. You are in Goat James Kingdom. You see what they say. We see what they do. We can't even show you Michael Jordan footage and show you how Michael Jordan was just average. This is y'all say this is great. This is average. <laughs> This is Anthony 19, Edwards, this they, is championship right, Anthony Jordan. Edwards is better than this. Anthony Edwards is better than this right now. The Michael Jordan was in 1997. Look, break in a short three-point line. Look at that short that three-point line is. Look at this. Boop, boop, go left, pick up the dribble. This versus Carl Malone. This league will cook with that. Supposedly, three LeBron that doesn't have Look no at moves. That. He's shooting over, John Stockton's guard. I mean, he's shooting over the backboard. <laughs> look, look, see? Getting, getting screens, like you were saying, look, look, getting screens, muscle in his way, using his muscle, right? Yeah. Getting bigger, getting stronger. Look, there we go. Go right. I can barely dribble left. Hold on. Okay, I got this. Two dribbles. Okay, hold, wait, I got it. Oh. Double team. Two dribbles and a double team. Oh, that's fine. He can get the double team. I mean, that's, I mean like, this is all new. important plays. This is all the Jordan. I didn't, I didn't say I'm going to take the big trash play. play. This is all the Jordan plays. Like, the Jordan big is trash great. Play. We're, we're not going to say Jordan's not great, but... Jordan was like 205 in 97. Amazing. No, but Brandon, you know what makes Jordan great? The stats. Not the he game had 39 film. points this, this game, so he had not 39 the, points this not game. Not the game film. The game film don't, don't, don't show great. But when we watched the film. Yeah. Not the highlights, was, Craig. The film. This is right. film. This is 97, right, where he scored 30 yeah. points for the playoffs, had 48% shooting. He scored 39 points three. this game. Yeah. He scored 39 points this game to, to, uh -huh. to win the title yeah. because it this goes. was a, a must-win game for him. Uh -huh. this, oh, so this is game six? No, yeah, yeah game six. Okay. This I'll is game, your game question, six. Man, there were two years, in fact, where I don't think LeBron was as good as Mike ever. Okay, which year? Which year? And that was 88 and 89. 88, no way on earth was Michael Jordan. He wasn't great. No way. No way. No way. So, so you got two years that you picked out Jordan was better than LeBron. Two. No, if we're talking about Brandon, peak, Brandon, you, like wanna, Brandon you wanna you wanna make this fair? You wanna make this no. fair for them? Do you wanna no. allow Craig and Travis? to bring up the film of the 88 through 93 Jordan and show us why he's better than any LeBron in any era? <laughs> I, I actually have um, of, the, of, the, of the 1993 game uh, versus the Suns, the um, game, game Oh, you six. got that? Oh, let, oh my bad. Oh, yeah, I, like, I mean, it's, it's so glory because it's like 40 years ago, but let, 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 let me go grab it because I didn't get a chance to grab it. Did, because you, did of, you get because the dust off thing. But hold up, hold, hold up. I mean, it's old. But you, you guys could, could go ahead and... Um, Go go back and forth about Michael Jordan no, being the goal. Keep putting the film though. We want to watch the film too while we do this. Because remember, it's all about the film. These guys' stats don't matter. Put up the no, film. Put up they the do film. Matter, absolutely. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't matter at all. We are not talking stats around here. We are talking basketball. Oh god, because that's the only way we're going to prove that narrative. Then I, I get it. What narrative? What's the narrative? That, that or uh, LeBron's better than Mike. No, no. Oh, oh, yeah, we're going to show you film. Brandon got film. Did you we need the film, film or you want the stats? We just showed you the crucial film, games. Film we showed you crucial stats. games. We showed okay. you crucial games where your boy was crucial was games. Okay. About, yeah, crucial games. Th those were not crucial games. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe they were because um, he showed you the game six in the '98 finals. That was the clinching game. Uh, okay. Then uh, game so six won. in Seattle. Sure. It's funny how he mentioned age when they was 23, but don't mention that Jordan was why, 35. Why are we looking at certain idiot. games? Why can't we just look at the finished product and say, cool, this is what he came up with? Oh, because when we do that, y'all say longevity. I never say that. No, again, you could do take it one for the team today because y'all mad at us for bringing up the eye test because we always talk stats. And we always bring up stats. But today, we're using our eye test. And from what I can see, with my eyes, a over 40-year-old man that was born when Michael Jordan was playing and watched him play, that shit look horrible. That shit look like big trash. Look garbage. We done with the 90s. No, it didn't. I'm, I don't care what y'all say. We done with the 90s. Y'all can't prove it. I, I, you know what? I'm going to give y'all Friday night exposure to do it. Come with it. I, I, I want to see I want to see 88 Jordan through 93 Jordan. And don't just show me the highlights. Show me the game footage. Let's sit here and watch the yeah, games like we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, let's do it. And I'm going to and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to go find game footage of LeBron James during whatever span you want me. Tell it to me right now. What span of LeBron James you want me to go look at? I'm looking at all of his, his entire span right now. Tell me, tell me what span. You got five years. 
I want you to tell you so I can have all 20. What are you trying to do? Oh, I'm trying to do to show you that LeBron James is better by using our eye test. Just the eye test? And so... Yeah, and we, we, yeah, we are, yeah, yeah, yes, because you know, yes, yes, we're, yes, yes, we're doing all of that. Yes, objectiveness, eye test, we're doing all of that. We're there, all, all objectivity has been officially thrown away because Obviously. of Mike Peak and Peak Town Podcast and Michael Jordan fans mad at us for looking back at film that they told us to go back and look at. And now we're looking at it. Who you're mad idiots? at what our eyes are seeing. Which there's a lot of people. Matt, who's these idiots? Ralph Alexander's one of those idiots. He made a post about Goat James Kingdom because of Friday Night Exposure. He's upset because he thinks Michael Jordan has a left hand. And there's footage and proof to show that Jordan was very terrible using his left hand. Not only by Goat James Kingdom, not only by the kids that y'all want to call two YouTube kids but by the broadcasters and the people who played him in those eras, who used to tell you Jordan had trouble going left. Y'all listen to him when they say he don't have a left hand. Why uh -huh. y'all don't listen to him when they say he can average 50? Because those same people who say he didn't have a left hand was the None same ones saying that he played, John, he would average John 50. John Sally never said it. So John Sally didn't say that. Is it? John which Sally didn't listen? say that. John, which listen. Oh, wait. Listen Craig. Them bring up a hypothetical. It's not the same as them seeing Jordan not saying. using a left hand. They know it's not. Before. Craig, you're not saying nothing because it's not a hypothetical to say well, Jordan can go media left. Influencers say it. Craig, you know those videos. Craig, it is not hypothetical to say Michael I'm Jordan actually, can't go left. There's footage. You have no footage of Jordan scoring 50 down, points. And down. no, no, because you're not letting down. me talk. Because you're not letting me talk. Listen to what I'm telling you. You have no footage of Michael Jordan scoring 50 points in the 2000s. And the 2010s. He, He's the, he scored 50 in three different decades. What are you talking about? In the 2010s. They say in today's era. There is no footage of Michael Jordan well, of outside of his era. The There's no footage of Michael Jordan outside of his era scoring 50 points. So that is a hypothetical. The guys who say Jordan could not go left are not speaking hypothetically. They physically played against him. It was a game strategy to do it against Mike. And when they did it, they were successful for three straight years. He shot under 50% for three straight years. His, his uh, uh, field goal percentage went down for three straight years. His points went down for three straight years. His turnovers went up for three straight years. His assists went down for three straight years. Everything that Michael Jordan was doing against one team who decided to just push him left was able to dominate and control Michael Jordan. So that's fact. That's not hyper. That's not hyperbolic. Go left. That's not uh -huh. fact. One team. One team. One team. He oh, okay, uh, John. John, I have a question. Oh, Did you team. see any of those games that Jordan would average one fifty team. points a game today? Any of those games that we watched, would Jordan average fifty well, points I, a game today? Jordan is not average. There's not a wait. Wait, wait. There's not a. There is not a Jordan. Not the early 80s, I mean the, the 80s, mid 80s Jordan, the late 80s Jordan, early 90s Jordan, late 90s Jordan, or the 2000s Jordan that can do what LeBron was doing in the, in the 2000s. Because once that zone defense existed, everything changes. Jordan is not somebody who can get his teammates involved like LeBron can. He's not going to do it. He is not that player. He's going to take a bunch of bad shots. He's going to take he's going to take a bunch of he's going to take a lot of bad shots like Kobe Bryant did. 32, eight, eight, eight. At He's going to take a lot of bad eight, shots. Eight. Show me a LeBron. Hey, uh, Johnny, let me ask you. Who has the record? From LeBron. No, I don't want no stats, Craig. Show Johnny, me the footage. I'm I don't okay. want stats, Craig. I want footage. <laughs> so... I want footage. I want footage. Play, play so, game three. I mean, uh, Mr. Ring and uh, Jonathan, the background. Who has the record? Let me ask you. Who has the huh? record for... Uh, a winning huh? team leaving his team, or who has the record for most assists uh, by any player in a winning uh, final series? He didn't have the most assists in that series. He said winning. God damn. He said he said, <laughs> he said but he didn't have the most assists in that series. Are you saying he LeBron James? Oh wait, are you saying are you saying LeBron James never led a series, the entire series in assists and won a championship? Is that what you're saying? No, he I'm saying who has the most because it wasn't more. Than LeBron life. did in 2016. He had the most. Of, 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 of both teams, 11, not just his team. LeBron had more assists than his team and the team he faced and won a championship. Jordan never did that. Uh, oh, that's different. So Jordan. He asked, no. He asked if LeBron had the highest assists in the series he won in. He had the highest assists in the series and both teams. Jordan didn't have that in both teams. He only had it for his team. Yeah, LeBron's always like, 
How many times have had Jordan led his his team in points, rebounds, and assists in a playoff series? Don't forget about steals and blocks. Now fuck that shit. I said <laughs> points, rebounds, and assists. He didn't he didn't bring up blocks and steals. He brought up assists. I'm gonna add points and rebounds. You said Mike wasn't ever passing the ball. Objective. I asked you how many times did Michael Jordan lead his team in points, rebounds, and assists in a playoff series? And I asked you a question which you didn't answer, so we'll go. Yes, on. you did. I did answer it. What I was did. that? What was the answer? Go ahead. Go ahead. I Where asked you it? who has the record, okay, mm -hmm. on a winning championship team for mm -hmm. assists per game. You did not answer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A record. The final series. <laughs> I'm, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, John, don't answer this. What did Jordan average? Uh, it was 11.4, I believe. So you mean to tell me that no one won a final series that didn't average that much? Correct. And you get this information from where? Uh, it's out there. You got to be. It's his head. It it's head because it's not true. It okay. is not true. He averaged 11 assists versus who? The Lakers? Yeah, yes, Magic Johnson averaged fourteen like assists in in, in 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 a playoff series. I'm not sure which which one. Let me go. No, and hold look. on, hold on. He said, it, "No, remember, it, it's about the championship in the finals. In the finals, a, yeah, it, it, has, to be, yeah, it yeah. has to be a championship. And it's a winning team. Let me, let me see. Um, in 1985 finals, Magic averaged fourteen assists. Um, so, Travis, you try. You try. Yeah. Oh wait, Brandon, Brandon, know, know, Brandon, trying. Brandon trying. Travis, Travis, we you know we got nothing but love for you. Come on, you try. You have now been exposed <laughs> by the you exposure. You spend you listening to all these lies that Jordan fans say, and you're gonna repeat it without even looking. Oh, so, Travis, you're better than that. You're better than that, Travis. Don't don't believe the lies that they tell you. All they do is lie. No, Travis. It's all this they do is lie. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. It's We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. In the NBA point Finals point. in 1985, not only did Magic average 14 points per game, he was the Finals MVP. My, Magic Johnson has averaged over 12 assists per game in a in a playoff series over 20 times in his career. Michael Jordan didn't do nothing special in 91 but win his first NBA championship. So, again, Friday night exposure is open up to both you and Craig. Tell you have no, an entire five know. days to show me 88 through 93 Jordan, and I will show you LeBron James since you gave me no years. And we're going to have a great Friday night because none of us don't do shit on a Friday night. But, again, we are GOAT James Kingdom. We, we're going to use our eye test now because we're tired of stats. We keep telling y'all the stats matter, but now y'all want to keep going to stats. We're gonna. I want to see the eye test. Brandon, did you got more footage? Yeah, I'm ready for this. For this Bring up more footage, man. I'm not, and I'm not emotional. I'm passionate. Go James six. Kingdom. Go ahead. Go Michael ahead, Jordan had a great game. Michael Jordan had a great game. I, I'm not going to lie. He had a great game this game. What's that, 93, uh, game six? He better hit the game winning shot because you know how Kyrie hit this, that shot uh, in 16. They say mm -hmm. uh, he should have won finals MVP. So Jordan better hit the game winning shot in this game. There you go. Yeah, Jordan hit like three threes in, in, a, in a first quarter in this, I think. I better not see John Paxson Pick hit the game. Pick up my dribble. Pick up my dribble. Why is Kevin Johnson guarding Jordan? No, I thought Dan Marley did. No, no, damn, Marley got cooked. Oh, Johnson like, like six one, six one. Why the hell is he not Jordan? Yeah, all these people say for the comments. Can't wait to get up here and expose them on dude. Okay, yeah. Friday. All Truth. they're doing is just another turnover. Guys is not... Trust me, Travis. I, I, wait, I, guess, wait. I, I was a turnover going day. left. A turnover yeah. going left. Okay, another turnover going left. Ah, uh, Jordan. Jordan played great this game. He played great this game. Yeah, you, you got someone six one guarding you. <laughs> Be Why is Kevin Johnson guarding him? I don't understand this. Because he's so he got 55 on Dan Marley, so they said, you know what? Uh, we ain't gonna have you guard him. At least they have no defenders. Slowed him down. Kevin Johnson's their best defender. Jeez, hey, best defender. He dropped 55 on the best defender. Wow, yeah, Dan Marley's Marley's Dan Marley's 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 that's the problem. Yeah, that's Dan really, who's, to be a that's really who's sticking him. It is Kevin Johnson. It is Kevin. Look, he's a point guard. Him. Really, it's Damn. Kevin Johnson. Shooting over 6'3", Kevin Johnson. Look at this. And missing over half the shots. I didn't know I didn't know uh Kevin Johnson was 6'3". I thought it was like 6'1", 6'2". one, six two. That's like six one, he ain't no six three. Oh, oh. He was okay. six, just put out here shit. Damn. 
Yeah, I mean, Michael Jordan's supposed to be the GOAT, but the film don't show that shit. I mean, this is no nowhere near better than LeBron James. If we're this is nowhere near better than LeBron James. This, this, is, good. this is good, but this is nowhere near better than LeBron James. Like, LeBron James is better right now. Right now, year 21, LeBron James what is better happened? than this. No, he's not. You're just in basketball. That. In basketball. Okay. LeBron James what? would be beasting these dudes all game. Beasting okay. these dudes so all Jordan game. For this series that we're talking about right here, this series, was like, what, 45 a game on over 50% shooting? LeBron like I said, LeBron would be beasting these dudes all yeah, game. Bro, it would even be a problem. A I mean, no wonder he won six titles. Look at, look at this. Look at that brick. LeBron is folded against much less, or like way, like way worse teams than the Suns. Okay. What? When? What year? We're talking about. Okay, we, we want to cherry pick. Okay, let's go like 09 MSL or 09 against the Magic, where he folded during the five, well, two games of that. What season. against the Defensive Player of the oh, Year? Oh, the who was guarding him? It was Dwight Howard. Wait, Jameer Nelson. He's he's averaged thirty-eight, eight and eight, shot forty-nine percent from the field. What are you talking okay, about? Cool. So hey, we don't want the stats, right? We're looking at the eye test. We're gonna pull up. Yeah, we're gonna look at the eye test. It's gonna look better. It's gonna look better than this. It's gonna look better than this. This is in the game that George Stein like five turnovers again. Okay, who hit the shot? Who hit the shot right here? Who hit the shot? John Pat. That was the only bucket someone scored besides. And here go the defensive play. They don't pass the ball. Thirty. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook you later. This is ninety three. Yeah. There's no way on earth. There's no way on earth. And he's better than LeBron James. He don't know which side he's on. Wait, 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 Travis. Do you really, football. really, do you really think taking twenty six shots to get thirty three points is playing good basketball? Is what your field goal percentage is. Oh, Chill Town is in the building. Chill Town, yeah. don't do yeah. this. I didn't know Chill Town was in the building. I meant to tell you. Chill Town, you got, listen, you got to show up. Listen, these dudes don't like the film. We're showing you the film. It's they only told us to go get the film, Chill Town. They, listen, put the link up. Let's let Chill Town in. Chill Town get first. Over, man, only, dude. only for All Chill Town. Let's do this. All for Chill Town. No, because you know what? Chill Town's going to supposedly save y'all. Chill Town's going to tell us that we're tripping, and we want Chill Town up here. I'm sorry, but we, th let's go. Let's go, Chill Town, because we need we need somebody to save these guys. Because I <laughs> want to hear what's what's about Michael Jordan's game that's better than LeBron James by using the eye test. Because this man said thirty three points on twenty six shots is great basketball. That's not great basketball. That's chucking up a lot of shots. That's what that is. Here we go. Twenty twenty. This is old LeBron. Yes, seventeen. Hmm. Look, bullying it. Don't put nobody spot on me. Last defender. Okay, yes, yeah, that's what yeah, you're supposed to do. Bully them. That's what he would have did to Kevin Johnson. Exactly. Bully them. These things are so much bigger than what Jordan boom, played against. Boom, look, uh, LeBron no, no, does everything on the court. He does everything on the court. He just don't jack up missed shots. <laughs> He's I a point not... guard. He's an offensive. <laughs> Was he in the post? Right at the center. Top of the key. They switched it. Terrible ass defense. I mean, he just said terrible ball. ass defense. Yeah. I mean, what, what did you see when we were showing up oh, Jordan highlights? Sightfully defense. The guy didn't even jump. I can't stay. I I, I can't stay long, go. But 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 but, but Travis. Do yourself a favor, my man. You gotta do your homework when you talk to these dudes, yo. You can't just come up here and say stuff like eleven assists. Come on, man. Hey, give me that like, one, man. No, like, no, chill like, 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 You can't do stuff like that, yo. Did you, hey, Travis, 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 did better you, than anyone, and Travis, did if you I know? Exposed, he'll forgive me. Travis, Tra Travis, 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 <laughs> Travis. I don't know if you, Travis. I don't know if you know this, but five of the six championships they won, Scottie Pippen led them in assists and rebounds. He did that. Jordan only let them in scoring. That was it. Nothing else. <laughs> We've let we're not talking stats, Chill Town. That was it. Chill Town. The reason why I brought that up is because he, he brought up the numbers. So I, I, I say that to say. Yes. Like, you can't just listen to people. You got to go do your homework. Because these dudes, you ain't just in the ring with some amateurs. You're in the ring with pros. They know what they're <laughs> talking about. 
So come on, man. The choir, focus. Bro. Focus. This is go game. Does it look slower to me in the 90s? I don't know. Is it just me? Slower? No. Mm -hmm. it's just LeBron it's plays at a different pace. He no plays at a different like pace. Crowd. Okay, he plays at a different pace. He plays at a different pace. That's all. This is like scrimmage. No. There's no crowd hyping him up the chair, nothing. They, 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 I don't see nobody harder. in That's the lane. That's the reason that Jordan just saw those this is, this is harder because Jordan can't go gamble after the game and go relax himself off on a yeah, couple of cigars called, and, some, no and go trick off. Nobody. Yeah, he's in Disney World where you got to be a good guy and be a basketball player. Not you actually got to hoop. You got to actually hoop. You got to be a hooper. Chill Town, thank you for joining the GOAT James Kingdom platform, brother. I really appreciate you, brother. You see that they can't talk the stats because that's what happens when oh. they talk the stats. But now they're mad at the eye test. We know you're upset about them bringing up the 80s and the 90s, but you also could agree that, again, that was the 80s and 90s. We all know it was old basketball. We, we watched today's game. You watched today's NBA. You know how good today's NBA is. These guys don't want to accept it. And that's Anybody that know me know that I think James is the goat. I'm, I'm, I'm not on. I'm on record saying that. I don't think but, James is good. I think he's the goat. You're on record saying that. I'm on but this record. is the thing, Chill. This is not a. This is not a yeah, Jordan versus play. LeBron conversation. This is a. This is a 80s and 90s versus today's basketball conversation. Right. They keep making everything LeBron and Jordan because everything that they lied the about show to is us. Called his Michael Jordan game. Right, but the thing is, you're saying that we're cherishing oh, Jordan games, and we're not. We're showing with Jordan winning titles, Game Six. That's when the Tiger hit 63 point game. We're Craig. showing those games you're saying we're cherry picking. We are GOAT James Kingdom. That is what we do. We don't hide from that. We don't dodge the bullets like y'all do. We don't claim not to do these things. We All do right. it and tell you we're doing it. So if you got a problem I'm with it, like Sunday afternoon is where you address us. Friday night is where you address us. Go, go ahead, Chit Town. My, 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 my issue is that we, we, we're we not cherry picking. What we're doing is, is that we're looking at a dude who couldn't go left early. He was weak with his left hand, but he developed that. Just like James couldn't shoot the long ball early. Just mm -hmm. like James couldn't shoot the mid-range, but he developed that. And then he got better at it. J Jordan, he got better at going left. He got better at passing. There was a time when he had a weak left hand. There was a time when he couldn't do that. There's plenty of guys in the league who had who had deficiencies in their game, and then they improved on them. I'm not one to sit here and go, yo, Jordan never had any deficiencies. All of these guys had deficiencies in their game. And over time, they got better with them. We can't just go, yo, Jordan had no left for 15 years. That's not true. That is not true. He got better with his left hand. Now, for a while, it, the, the game plan on him was push him to his left, and we can we can neutralize him. But once that got figured out, then he became impossible. Same thing with James. If you watch the 20, I think it was 20, 2017, 2018 playoff, 2017, 2017 or 2018 playoffs. When James put that fall away 17-footer in his game, you dudes got no chance. Nothing. When 13, when he put that mid-range in his game, the dude's got no chance, nothing. So when you do stuff like that, there was a time when he didn't have that in his game. So, But I'm not going to go, James couldn't shoot the mid-range. Because if I say that, that sounds goofy. Because we have film of him shooting the mid-range. We have Thanks. film of him knocking down mid-range jump shots. We have film of him being in the post. James, James, didn't, James didn't have any footwork. That's not true. We got film of him on the box. His footwork improved. We have film of him on the box improving his post game. That's all film out there. So we can't just say that and just run with the narrative. No, we can't do that. And I won't do that. Thank you. Thank you. We see that, that us, that's all we're saying. Cause we we could bring up film because we watched it. Everybody's seen it, but you know what's the problem, Chill Town? Majority of these guys didn't watch the 90s. Majority majority of these guys never saw the the 80s. So they don't know. They only know the highlights. They only know the mm -hmm. film of greatness. They don't know it. That's why they're mad now that somebody went out and sit on their couch eating sandwiches, right, and showing y'all the garbage that existed in the 80s and the hot trash that existed in the 90s. Not to say that we don't know these players are great, because guess what, Chill Town? The stats say all of these players are great. And that's why we always tell people, you got to stay with the stats, because the stats will show us more than anything that we see with our eyes. If you can't see the stats, we can't trust what you're seeing with this game film right here. Because you can tell we see the stats and we see the film. Jordan was great, but he was, he had flaws. I was told he has no flaws. Your partner, Mr. Well, Sports well, Fluent, well, Mr. Sports Fluent states, oh, we got to talk about the negatives. Well, let's talk about Jordan not being able to shoot a three-pointer. Let's talk about Jordan not having a left hand for a good part of his career. Let's talk right. about Jordan not being able to play 10 straight NBA seasons because he's exhausted. It's mentally grueling to do that. He couldn't he's handle it. He shot See, but, but we're haters, chill. But we're haters for that, chill. We're haters from, for that. Go right? from the from all go ahead, the go ahead, film, go ahead, Mac. Go ahead, Mac. I'm listening. From, from all the film that I, that I've watched, 
when Jordan in in this air, it seems like every the the lane is clogged and there's no and there's no floor space and then he has to create his own shots because he doesn't have a great point guard to put him in position. When you look at LeBron James's film, he has spacing, free not free drives to the lanes, but he's got a he's got an easy lane to the to the basket, and and, there, and he's got great floor spacing. So he's he, he I don't know. I, to me, Jordan is creating the, creating his own shots, and this and, and it looks tougher to me. Is your Listen, logic is, is is your logic the fact that the game is more wide open? Is that what you're trying to say? Today, that's what I'm James, saying. What I'm saying is is that there. Jordan is creating his own shots and if you're and if you're a guy that plays in a clogged up lane where where if i drive to the lane the defense converges on me so the only thing they're giving me is a mid-range and i dominate the mid-range compared to lebron's film where he kind of gets a free lane to the basket i, I mean i think jordan yeah Mac, it was a little bit Mac, tougher for this jordan is why, Mac, based this is why on the gonna, film no Mac, that's why we don't trust your eye test there was nothing that you can say here that we watched throughout the 80s where jordan was dominating mid-range we saw Jordan jacking up a bunch of shots and missing a bunch of those shots. We saw Jordan going we to saw the him lane. Score forty-five uh, points. Uh, yeah, and a lot of those were going to the lane. He wasn't hitting uh, that much jumpers. You guys are lying about Jordan's mid-range. We he just was, showed the footage. It was layups. We just showed free throw. it. Layups. We just cool, showed it. Forty-five points. No, it was forty-five not. points. Oh wait, no, no. And, and this and this spacing you're talking about. That's why Michael Jordan needed the triangle offense, which he didn't agree to and did not want it to be implemented because he called it the demichaelization offense. It took ball out of his hand because Jordan couldn't create that well. Push him left, and he can't create nothing majority of the time. And, and that's how that, the. Oh. That's how they beat him three straight years in a row. Every time so, I drive to the basket, wait, wait, wait. LeBron, wait, LeBron. So instead of LeBron needing the mid-range to develop his inside game, today's NBA, you need the three-point shot. And that's why LeBron James is better at the three-pointer than Jordan was at mid-range. So LeBron James developed I his long-range so. shot. He developed his long-range shot because that's the long-range shot. Shooting the three in the 80s and the early 90s was a horrible shot because the majority of those guys couldn't make it. But in today's and, NBA, you can't leave LeBron open from 25 to 20 feet. You can't do it. He's going to. He's better than Jordan did at that. The are stats looking say at that. The film? Are yes, the film say right? that, and the That's film says right before, before you before you go any further. Are y'all looking at? Hold on. Are y'all looking at this oh, film oh, oh. right here? Yes, we are. Before, yes, we are. You go, before you go any further, go. Hold on, my man. You talking about the lane being clogged? Why are you talking like James just showed up? James was in the league in 2003 when Shaq was around. James was in the league in 2006 when Tim Duncan and Shaq and Dwight Howard were in the league. And he was averaging 31 a game. He wasn't doing that because he was just running fast breaks. He put 57, 57 or 55 on Toronto. He didn't do that because he was just running in transition. No. Uh, he was running in a big man league. It was a big man league. Not only that. I'm just looking, a, I'm just was, looking at the film. I, I didn't he, say nothing about LeBron I'm like, just looking at the film that they're showing. That's all. And he creates his own shots. LeBron Not creates only did his a own big shots man league. It was the slowest pace ever. It was one of the slowest pace errors. And James still was able to score on a regular. Still was able to do that. Thirty-one Man. games. Still doing it now. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about stats. Based on based on the Mac film, Mac every time he tries to drive, he, they clog up the paint and the lane. Mac so Mac they're Mac forcing Mac him Mac to Mac take Mac contested mid-range jumpers. That's the only thing that they're trying to give him, and he's scoring forty-five points and dominating Mac, just Mac, with that. Mac, that is a bad shot. Jordan needs to pass the ball. Twin man, it's your turn. <laughs> Twin man, go. Twin man, it's your turn. Go ahead. If I drive to the lane. Uh, Mac, That's it's enough. Right. Mac, right. Mac, Mac, it's enough. Mac, it's enough. Your, your, your eye test is wrong. Go to him and continue. So this is this is what I want to address with Magda. If he actually drives to the lane and kick and he's a willing passer the way LeBron James is, guess what? You, you're utilizing the strength of your teammates. You have Steve Kerr, B.J. Armstrong, Rod Harper, uh -huh. Tony Kukoc, uh, Horace Grant. That uh -huh. could hit shots. Well, you're he did not do that. Passing. Hold on, Mac. Well, hold on, Mac. He did do that. Go back to the 93 East Finals. B.J. Armstrong get the three to put them ahead. And yeah, I, I feel you, but, he, but, but Chip time, my point is he, he, wasn't, he wasn't as much of a winning passer. That's my it's, point. It's, it's if, he was more, if he would have been more of a playmaker, that lane's not as clogged because now you can't leave your man to double team. See, LeBron James, you say he's getting these free runs to the basket because guess what? He's that willing passer. He'll kick it to the guy in the corner. 
even if that guy's a horrible three-point shooter, he'll still kick it to the corner and let that dude pull it. Every time. Because he understands he understands getting his teammates involved is very important. To me, that's one of the biggest deficits in Jordan's games that people don't want to talk about. Yes, Jordan had those ability to give you those high assist games, but he didn't do it consistently. Everybody knows as soon as Jordan got the ball in his hand, he's going to pull it up over two, three people. But you, you see, but no, my point is, you, you want, to the sir, sir, I agree with what you're field. saying, but we're, we, you cannot ask Jordan to play like LeBron, and we're not going to ask LeBron to play like Jordan. That's all you got to do is ask LeBron to play like Jordan. That's the problem. No, exactly. we, exactly. that's not what I said. Matt, oh, wait, wait, Matt, that's not Matt, what I said. Wait, wait, Mac, Mac, why does LeBron need a mid range when he played throughout his early career in Cleveland with big men in the paint like Elgowskis and Drew Gooden, and he was still able to be as effective as Jordan, if not more efficient than Jordan for sure, and he was still able to be the player without the mid range Jordan had? So again, you want him to have a mid range when he's still productive. No, he's still, yes, because he doesn't have to have a mid range to show that he can create his own shots. The fact that he can get right. to the rim, wait, the fact that he can get to a rim at elite level is creating his own shot. The fact that he can shoot threes at an elite level is creating his own shot. He can shoot off the dribble. He can shoot off his left dribble, off his right dribble. It's not like LeBron James only has one thing, which is bulldoze his way to the rim. That's a lie. You don't really That's watch not the what eyes. I said. No, you're saying that there's a clear lane. There isn't a clear lane. There is a defender guarding LeBron. Because and there is a, and he has... Wait, wait, wait. Jordan <laughs> never Jordan never played on the strong side and had a two players sticking the strong side block while he's the only player on the strong side. That never existed in Jordan's career. And until you understand what I said, you have to be quiet. Ishmael. Let, it's your what? turn. I do understand what you said, okay. bro. Okay, so, you're so not what did I just say? So what did I say? Matt, Matt, you're not what did telling I say? me nothing. Oh, wait, Matt. You, did, oh, wait, I Matt. didn't even say. You're Matt, talking about Matt, LeBron James' right, mid-range. Right, 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 and Matt, I didn't say right. nothing. Matt, all right, Matt, all right, Matt, okay, you want to continue this? Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Brandon. All right, go, go, go ahead, Smiley. I'm not going back and forth with you guys today. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> they, they I got skipped three times. You all did just show the. Where's Sturdy? Oh, Sturdy, I'm sorry. We just saw you, Sturdy. My bad. You all just did just show no, no, go ahead, man. no spacing uh, against Detroit in the 2007 playoffs. So I, I don't know what he meant by then. Like the 2000s didn't really have that much spacing. So like LeBron did dominate in the air with spacing. But I just want to say, um, I think the title is a little crazy. Um, are you guys saying like Michael Jordan is more, is is overhyped or because like overrated, you know, is different than overhyped? I can agree that he was overhyped in comparison to what he was able to do and how people say like he can score 50 a game and whatnot yes yes is over over hype definitely but they're overrating him a lot of time even though he's great they're saying that he'll just come in and average 50 and 60 points a game he would not do that today yeah he wouldn't do that there's no way kobe bryant couldn't couldn't even do that so why would michael jordan do that yeah i i yeah i i agree totally i i don't see him doing anything like that i i just think that his his game can transition to be a great player but i don't think that he creates havoc defensively you know i agree with everything you know with the trend going on because you know it's not like people are just picking low lights of michael jordan they're picking out full games and they're able to dissect the games i mean you had like lebron james for for like two decades people have been dissecting his game like crazy like making money off of his like saying how overrated he is i mean even the mainstream media stephen a smith and steve you know skip bayless has talked about it i remember a video where uh stephen a smith said that 2018 lebron's game in the playoffs he was lucky like how do you say that was lucky so you know i i think that you you guys are doing the right thing and amongst of other people because you know it's just a lot of old heads they've just been talking crap (laughs) About this generation, mm-hmm. yeah. Me, me personally, I think 2018 Bron is the best Bron I've ever seen. He yeah. had a complete game down, his right? Offense, his complete offensive game, down. game, his offensive game was the most complete because he had right. added everything to his game. He had added right. that mid range, that post game. His footwork was amazing in 18. The way he finished at the basket, the way he saw the court, his playmaking was even different on another level to me in 18. So his offensive game was just complete. Right, so it's and so, bro, fifteen years to be complete, and y'all talking about Jordan not having a left hand for the first three years. Come on now, y'all no, no, we saying that was Michael when he was, was the never most as complete as, as LeBron James was. Wow. Michael Jordan was never as complete as LeBron James was. All right, let's yeah, not, let's not start. I mean, it's let's a fair assessment because you can't really you you can't really come into the NBA. Not too many players nowadays don't have. You can't come to the NBA nowadays and not have a left or be able to use your weak hand. 
You can't do that. That's, like that's some high school stuff. And if you, you and if you do, and if you, and if you and if you do, which dudes do? Because Jalen Brown was like that. Yeah, Jaylen but it's Brown rare. Like it's it's but, not but, like but that the point, anymore. The point that I'm make the point that I'm making is whatever weakness you have, you got to get to it. And we don't have five six years to develop it. Like we don't have five six well, seven. But, years. No, but nobody. Here's, but here's the against. difference, though. Oh, here's no, the big on, difference. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's less than eight thirty. And okay. The difference. Sure. The real difference is, is that no one fought back when people were saying Jalen Brown didn't have a left hand. Y'all accepted, so y'all can't fight back when people saying the same things in your era. Sturdy, it's your turn. Let, let's let you in again, y'all. Thanks for joining us. We are the Goat James Kingdom platform. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. But go ahead, uh, Sturdy. You got something to address. Go ahead, brother. Uh, yes, yeah, salute everybody. Uh, first off, and and uh, most importantly. Uh, Josh Fox is not a top five point guard of all time. Just won't let people know. Right? <laughs> I'm out. Hey, go, um, I'm out. Go, I'm out. Go. Chill down. Chill down. Chill down. Chill down. It's an inside joke. 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 That's why it's an inside joke. Relax. 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 Uh, no, chill. Chill, dog. I'm messing with him. I'm trying to tell you something. But, uh, but the thing is, the problem is, um, is not so much that this that is this the strength and weaknesses in every era, right? Every era has their own problems and 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 rewards to it by itself. The problem is in the basketball sports community, the intertwining disrespect of errors on both sides. It's something that's been happening for decades. Like from you can you can go back and watch interviews and comments from Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell saying they'll dominate in the nineties. Yeah. Will Chambers on record saying he could, he'll average 50 to 70 points a game in the 90s due to the rules and advantages that he didn't have in his era. Yeah, and so it was the same. It was so. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and it's the same. And it's the same thing with um the same thing with um some of the players of today, like of uh, like not today, but like of uh, earlier years, like Gilbert Arena saying the 80s is trash. It's not so much any particular era is just trash because each era is important. It's influential on the game. It's just the it, the disrespect of it. And the hypothet like and using hypotheticals and opinions is fast when it's not. To say a guy like Jordan can come in today's game and average fifty because it was aura or his will and desire is inaccurate and hy hyperbolic. And this is unnecessary. Um, we don't have a time machine, unfortunately. We uh, as much as I would pay to see LeBron in the nineties or Jordan in today's era, we just don't we're just not gonna see it. So the right answer is to take it for what they did in their era and call it a day. You don't hear that the same dialogue in you don't hear the same dialogue in football. Hey Johnny Inchill or 49ers fan, you never hear them say, Man, if Joe Montana plays today, he will kill all these guys. You won't hear nothing like that. You hear what the greatness of what Christian McCaffrey is doing, what Joe, what um what, what Patrick Mahomes is doing. You hear the, the appreciation of the era. Is that simple? I think them now, not like the league up today. That's just my opinion. But anyway, that's my opinion too. Too. I agree with that too. But, but I guess one of the thing is like they they just want Michael Jordan. Yeah, they they all just want Michael Jordan to just live in this this myth that he's just so superior than than everybody else. So we have to literally go to at the actual footage just to show you. Michael Jordan at certain even Craig said Michael Jordan in nineteen ninety three was better than LeBron James two thousand thirteen. So we saw the footage of Michael Jordan in nineteen ninety three and we're cherry picking because we picked the game six of him winning the ring and we're cherry picking. No, this Michael Jordan was great that game. He scored the over only thirty points. I, said I think, I don't know. but quick, he quick, did quick, not quick. control the game like LeBron James controls the game. LeBron James is the quarterback on the offense and on the defense. LeBron James puts his players in the right positions to win the game. He gives them the best shot to win the game. Michael Jordan wasn't even involved in the All last I play. Said was, I would like to have a, get my, my feel of a game. I would like to submit a game of myself. That's all I said. That's why I said. Okay. I didn't even, which. Of course. Which, like, which, which game? Like which which game would you want to submit? Yeah, and just like off the, off the top of your head, coach. which game? Off the top of your head, which, which, which game? Off the top of your head. I guess you don't know because you don't watch Michael Jordan play basketball. You have no clue. <laughs> I guarantee you did not yeah. show this now. Which game? Which no. game? Y'all Jordan fans, hold on. What? We be, be, be on a meeting with us. Like, name off games. LeBron haters could name off games. Why can't you name off one Michael Jordan game to use? So, B, B Lee, this this, Damn, is, this is a bad. Hold on, swimming, hold on, swimming, hold on, swimming. We saw the film. 
I'm, I'm be. I'm, I, plan, I promise. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna Mama. take off and land real quick, sturdy. So, B, we, we literally saw the film uh-huh. of Jordan against the Utah Jazz. He's, t- in my opinion, he can, he was a great tough shot maker. He he could elevate and make tough shots, but he didn't have to do that. And see, that's what they credit. I, I, this is what I noticed. They credit Jordan and Kobe for being able to take horrible shots and make them instead of being a willing passer. There's more space. If you let your, if you actually utilize your teammates and play within the system, guess what? It would have been easier for Jordan to win. It would have been easier to, for Jordan to get 30 points, and he wouldn't have had to put up as many shots as he, he put up to get 30 points. That's what I'm seeing looking at the film. He's willing to run into the double team and take a jump shot instead of kicking it back out. You got LeBron coming downhill on the fast break, and what did he do? He kicked it to Caruso on the wing. I'd rather have that guy yeah. because he understands get somebody easier dudes. shot. Yeah, get somebody yeah, easier he shot. He understands if his dudes is hitting shots. Guess what? You can't leave him wide open, which makes it easier for me to score. That's now, just what I'm saying. Now, twin, you know, here's the thing. My, my fault too. But like, but twin man, the thing is, I'm being honest with you. It's just the way Jordan fans depict Michael Jordan's career, and as a player, they disrespect Jordan. They disrespect Jordan and the influence of the game to think the game would not evolve and not not implement the same mistake that Michael Jordan did in his career. Not do some of the things that made him great implement in today's fashion. They disrespect Michael Jordan's influence on the game that way. They also, most importantly, disrespect him by dumbing down his career. Last time I checked, Jordan is not where he's at as a player, as a legend, because of what he did in the finals alone. It wasn't just the 10 scoring titles that you keep hearing on repeat over and over again. Craig and T, and like, and it's crazy because Craig and, and T Perfect are typical knowledgeable Jordan fans, and they had a horrible day today. They shot three for 25 today. Everybody Primarily because they <laughs> fell for the, hold on, they <laughs> fell for the troll. Hold on. They fell for the troll instead of reacting, unlike Jordan, which is um, reacting in an aggressive, cerebral manner. They reacted in a more emotional manner and couldn't follow up with they needed to say and that's the main problem is instead of just actually like the you know, being active with jordan's career and his greatness you rather add too much you put too much muscle on the hot dog as you say back in the day you add too much on it and then you actually dilute his career because unfortunately he repeated it? no because i because i was listening to you you saying oh they're cherry picking games but reality because if you paid attention I, I hold on because- Craig, Craig. I'm if you paid you, attention, I'm all they did, all they did. Study, study. Let him go ahead. Go ahead, Craig. Go ahead and address I mean it because I'm, I, I'm blind. I don't know what's going on until I actually show. So when you showing, how can if we? If that's what I'm saying is I didn't. If we're gonna go and do this and, and they say, hey, look, we are gonna do this. Especially if you wanna talk about Jordan and the Gold Game Kingdom, and you know I'm here representing Jordan. Give me the heads up of what's going on, so I can get those games. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold all right, all right. I, 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 study, study, no, study, study. I, you don't I, have to address I, I, that because study. No, study. I'm not trying to address that. I just want to land my plane. That's no, no, it. That's no, it. No, 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 no. Hold on. We got, we got, we got, because we got people here. We want some other folks that want to join in. So that, that is a thing between Craig and I. Again, y'all, Craig is a part of our show. And Craig is, Craig was just saying that he was not pre warned about the discussion today. So, Craig, I understand what you're saying. So does Brandon and I. But again, we're showing you film of Michael Jordan's supposed greatest moments. The 63 point game is considered one of the greatest playoff performances of all time. Okay, it's a all right? It's playoff record, not performance. But no, but again, wait a minute. Stephen A. Smith said it's the greatest so playoff number performance one. of all time. Number one. Him. Okay, then- and, and, this, and that's another thing. Y'all okay. listen to them, and y'all, y'all, the same people who y'all, when they benefit what you're saying, y'all all ride. When I don't, when okay. they disagree, now they're insane because- Hey, John, I, can I, can I just make this quick, no, please? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I promise you, you will get your chance, <sighs> I promise you. Listen, Craig, you have to understand, <sighs> Craig, we are not using their terms. We're just showing you, again, you're proving our point. I we don't show do none of that. Exactly. We are not. Footage. We don't do none of this stuff. We everything that we do, you guys say doesn't work. So now that we're using what you guys use, you're saying it doesn't work, which proves our point. Proves everything by us using Michael Jordan fans' logic and having the same Michael Jordan fans say that that logic is idiotic. Proves how everything y'all say about Michael Jordan is idiotic because the logic itself is being used. So we're not we're not the ones who are saying Jordan is bad at basketball because we know he's great. 
but you guys are the ones that keep allowing people to talk about Jordan in this manner, and then secondly, allow the people to tell us we can't talk about LeBron in the same manner. You have the luxury to ignore the haters and praise Jordan. We don't so have the luxury. Even a Smith an asshole every time he listen. Says something about no, LeBron? you could you could come here live and understand that. I go James him an asshole. Freaking the white dude is an asshole. Like, what the hell? We don't like him. But we don't have that luxury, Craig. Craig, we don't have that luxury to praise LeBron James without dealing with the bullshit. So we can't block people because they're still going to be there. That's what you fail to realize. And so that's what's getting what started... mad at me for what other no. people are doing. No, I'm we're getting mad at you for defending them. Stop defending I them. <laughs> them. Okay, guys, let's them? move on. Let's move on from this. So, silly thing. What, what, uh, the, the, go ahead, what, B, what, what I what, what I can appreciate, because y'all dudes know me. Y'all know I'm a James guy. And it took me a while to come mm -hmm. around, but I, I watched enough film, and I saw I saw Jordan, and I recognized that I think this dude is better than him. With that True. being said, my biggest issue is the be done with the – yo, you can't erase. We can't erase that other stuff. We can't. It, it, even, even as good as Jordan was, we're not erasing Olajuwon. We're not erasing Ewing. We're not erasing <laughs> Dale Ellis. We're not erasing Chris Mullen. We're not erasing – Alex English, we're not erasing Paul Pressey. We're not erasing none of these dudes. And when you say stuff like we done with the 90s, what you're doing is you erasing that stuff because all of these dudes exist because of them dudes. And as long as I'm around, them dudes will be around. I'm not trying to hear none of that. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing, the same thing, the one 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 thing, the I right. you should. One hundred percent. People yes. to go back and watch some of yes. these games. Go through your homework. And the people you talking about, now they can actually do full explanation of these players we talking yes. about. Go see so, them. So I, I understand. We done with the nineties and eighties. Actually, think it's forced people to go back and watch film. How about this, King? How, how about this for for an idea? How about we done with the narrative? How about go do your homework? How about we done with you just telling us that Jordan was this? How about we done with you just telling us that Larry Bird was that? How about we done with you just telling us that Jabal was this? How about you go back and do your homework? Okay, there's a difference between we done with these dudes because you're not going to be done with them as long as I'm around. But if you're going to be, you could be done with the narrative. Just like I'm done, just like I was done with the logic that Elgin Baylor was awesome. I was like, Elgin Baylor's whack. That's of course, until I went back and did my homework and found out, wait a minute, yo, this dude was awesome. When I went back and did my homework and found out how good Rick Barry was, when I did my homework and found out how good all these, how good Cornbread was, right? How good Jamal Wilkes was. I had to go do my homework. I can't just sit around and let King Jan, King John tell me, yo, Jordan was awesome, or let my uncle tell me how good this dude was. I'm old enough to know, not even now, 30 years ago, I'm old enough to know at that point that, yo, I got to go find out for myself who these dudes are. Because what's going to happen is guys like guys like Travis are going to come up here and tell you that, that Jordan led the finals, made, <laughs> set a record in the finals with 11 assists, when that's just not true. Leave him alone. That's what's going to happen. Him Leave let him alone. live. Oh, wait. Leave, leave, leave him alone. Listen. No, wait. Let him live. Leave it was him warranted, alone. though. It was warranted, but damn, let, let him, him live. Let listen. Him live. But again, let, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> oh, wait. Let, ladies and gentlemen, this is why we are a show. This is why we are a program. Because again, this is what we're trying to do, Chill Town. We're going to use our eye test. And that's all Mike Peak is trying to do is use his eye test to explain what he is seeing with his eyes. Because like you said, when you do your research, which is look up the stats and look up the real numbers, you really see what greatness is all about. So Brandon is going to continue to show you what we do here in Goat James Kingdom. Because again, we just just want to see what they what they've been telling us because again they've been saying a lot that the we are done the 90s is because people kept telling us the 90s is great sturdy land it so that we can let brandon continue please thank you listen y'all know who that is chill so, town hoops right, i know where to catch him he's all over the place thank you for showing up chill town you are the man appreciate you brother thank you no i'm just going to say i'm just i'm just saying like Y'all Jordan fans not reacting intelligent at all because they're not cherry picking games. You go to any popular search engine, type in Michael Jordan's greatest playoff games. Don't they're understand. playing those games. That's not nitpicking. But you and then they put it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, break. Let me see. This is the most important thing. They did the same thing with LeBron. If you look up, go to any search engine you want to put. Duckle Mag, Bing, Google, what anyone you want to use. You look up LeBron James' best playoff games. They're playing it. They're alternating. That's not cherry picking. That's not cherry picking. 
Okay, so go ahead, go ahead, Brandon. Go ahead. No, listen, just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. He was not talking about that. He was talking about us again, Sturdy. He was talking to Brandon and I. It is a it is a Goat James Kingdom show thing, not a Goat James Kingdom special guest thing. So hey Johnny, that's bull. Listen. No, that's, it's not bull. It's not bull. No, listen. Not, oh no, what what you mean? What you talking about? Well, I'm talking about when um uh, the guy that just left talking about the nineties and destroy narratives for years. Old heads, the 90s, been talking trash about the modern era. Talk about the physicality is not there. It's soft. These guys have no fundamentals. Uh, Tracy McGrady said himself he'll score 50, 40 points in this era. They're talking like everybody has crap. Even when Kobe Bryant was playing, I remember that as a child, they said they played no defense during Kobe Bryant's era. They said that back then. They said they've been saying this stuff for years. Every what? time when I was when I was a child, I used to watch in, games on NBA TV. The nineties, it was so boring. It was so boring. They played one on one. I didn't know it was illegal defense back then. They used to play one on one like crazy. It was just slow. A bunch of fouls. I used to. I didn't know what it was, but until I learned it was illegal defense. Now we watching film. Don't shoot on the nineties. Don't do that. No, those guys may pave the way for players today. No. Nah, man, forget that. They <laughs> listen, they deserve man. it. Listen, 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 y'all hearing it again. We are all basketball fans here. Everybody get a chance to get their take. Thank you guys for joining us. Mm, Brand is gonna continue. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, Travis. Right. Listen, all right. So, go ahead, Brandon, so, go ahead, so, yeah, so we, we, we actually tried to watch the, the ninety seven um playoff game. You know, Jordan played great, he had thirty nine points. So we're not showing any bad games with Michael Jordan. Every game I showed, Michael Jordan played great except in um, the, the 96 finals, which he just, I know, Gary Payton passed from a lot when, when he got switched on him. He which, was out of his prime. He was out of his prime. He was out of his prime. Out of his prime, he yeah. said. Yeah. That's yeah. a turnover. You talking about the year he won MVP? Yeah. Yep. Finals okay, MVP. I was yep. just checking. I was just checking because he did win MVP in 96. So so you're saying because he was, he, 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 he was in his prime because he won the finals MVP? I said, that's regular. No, we're showing. We're just showing the games. I'm we're just, just showing how great Jordan said, was. No, Craig, because everyone said Jordan averaged fifty, sixty the game no, today. Craig, so we're just yeah, looking. You just said? I never heard nobody say Jordan was out of his prime. We know Jordan played differently. Like you said, his game was different. No, he definitely, he definitely you were, definitely you were right there. at his peak. He's yeah, not at his definitely definitely in his Craig, prime. Craig, you were right there. You were right. His game was different between '93 and this era. But I mean, again, I've never heard somebody say this is not his prime. This was his prime. This was prime that's MJ. What he this is flu game. He was the MJ. best player in the league. He was the best player in the league. Uh, his game you came. Play, he was say, happened to be the best player in the league. He was declining. Yeah. Player. So he yeah. was declining, and he was the best player in the league. So the what are we saying trash. about that? He's what does that say? That's not error. Done with the nineties. Done with the nineties. I don't. Again, we watching film. Y'all we are watching film. Y'all for being 39 and still putting up points and saying nothing about the competition. Jordan could do the same thing. It's tougher. It's tougher. LeBron's not the, still Jordan not the best player. Jordan couldn't do what LeBron James could do. That's the problem. That's why yeah. we're saying LeBron's the GOAT. LeBron and there was things that LeBron couldn't do that Jordan did. Like, Jordan could average 20, 25 points per game in year 21. Jordan couldn't even do it in year 15. How, 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 about, how about seven seven series of average? Year 14. How, how about that? That's the prime seven years? Seven what? That's I, the prime I, I, years? Seven, seven seasons averaging 30. How, That's how the prime that? years? That was 96, because 96 he averaged 30. Is that his prime years or not? It, it, <laughs> no, it wasn't. He still was able to do it. So, But you're going to count that seventh year? You're going to count? You're going to count? So we, gonna, so we, so we can count? In. And so we can count. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can count the years outside of his prime as long as it's good numbers, but we can't do it when it's bad film. What do you mean? I'm saying he declined. That's what I'm saying. But he didn't decline enough to not score thirty points per game. He's still averaging thirty. He didn't average thirty in '97 or '98. In '96, he did. That's, that's why I said after '96. Oh, you, oh, you said after '96. Okay, got, I thought, see, I thought I you said after '93. No, I could have sworn you said at '93. I thought it was '93. I said after '96. Okay, okay, I'm just making sure. Was I'm just making sure. After the three I don't know. He, he, hey. he was and, under 50%. Am I wrong? Am I wrong for thinking he's the right hand bandit as well? Am I wrong for that, guys? What did Craig yes. say about the 96 finals again? <laughs> I swear, if Jordan played today, they would say he has no bag. I mean. Yes. 
the funny if you, thing if about you're that just is, looking at Michael Jordan miss all these shots, he's the missing twenty about, shots. The funny thing about that is, is people would say he has no back, but when he played. Most of his defenders, most of the people he played against, they had a bag because it was a cocaine issue going on in the 80s. So that would have been, you know what I'm saying? It's a really different era. You talk about he was out of his prime, but, you know, a lot of those people are out of their mind. Why you believe it? Why you believe it? All right, that was that was boycott activity, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for bringing that up. We got we got Brandon down at the bottom. Thank you for joining, sir. Um, You can put your mic on so you can address the panel. What's good? Oh, uh, yes. I mean, y'all keep on. You bringing up Michael Jordan's second year in the NBA games, comparing him to a fourth year Le 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 LeBron. Of course, the numbers are not going to work out because they came out in different years. A guy in the second year should not be on the level as a guy in this fourth year. And we understand the game has advanced. LeBron and all of the players today was able to pick off what other players do. We understand the game are better. But it's about how you dominated your era. And none of these guys has dominated their era like Jordan has. Simple as that. And you want to, when your stats that you do use, you use these longevity stats, game the game stats. Jordan has been simply better and has been more dominant than LeBron has ever been. You're wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's easy. It's easy. You say wrong. Look at the stats. You keep on talking about Jordan having a little wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Listen, guys. They are, they are addressing Brandon and I, and Brandon and I will handle this. Go ahead, Brandon. Yeah, y'all keep saying Jordan have a – hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. Go, go, go. Jordan oh, didn't get, have a left dribble, but that's fine. Brandon, Jordan didn't have a left dribble. Get it out. Get it out. Get it all. Get it all. Jordan did have a left dribble. Swell, swell your chest up and get it all out. All go right. That, no, go I go just go got out naturally go high boy. Sorry. No, no, uh, no, it's okay. Go ahead. Jordan didn't have a left dribble to come out. He got better. Was he one of the best? No. But LeBron lost two NBA finals because he can't shoot. He's a career 37% shoot outside the lane. You like to lose stats? You stats. 37% outside the lane for a career. He has dominated inside the lane. That's why when people look at it, it's not about how many points. They look at the totality, how you able to score when the game is online. That's why he's passing the ball to George Hill. You talking about he can post. He can't post. He didn't take advantage when he had Steph Curry on the switch on him in the finals. He didn't post him up one time. Instead, he want to pass. He be passing the ball to George Hill or he fumbled the ball or he gets fouled. He, he doesn't take advantage of those or his advantages all the time. This is why we done with the '90s. Go ahead, Brandon. Okay, all right. So, so um, are you saying that Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time? I'm saying Michael Jordan dominated his era more than any other player of all time. Now we can look at skill for skill. Said these guys are just way more skilled. It's no, it's no okay. debating it at all. Okay, all right. So, so how did Michael Jordan dominate his era better than anybody? Between the winning, between the winning and statistical. I mean, before Jordan came in the league, nobody was really leading the league in scoring and also winning. And he was able to do it on defense. I believe Jordan's defense is slightly overrated, me personally. But he still was a good defender. He still was a good defender for his era. So he done it on the defensive end and on the offensive end. And he won. Six seven. This guy talking about if Jordan would have passed the Jordan, he could have won more. How can you tell a guy who won six championships how to win more? If that's a game, if passing was was all it, well, how come LeBron James didn't win more? How come Chris Paul didn't win more? How come Jason Kidd didn't win more? No, right, it's different right, ways to, right, to skin right, us. All right, all right. So, so, so six is is the standard. Is that what you're saying? Six is the standard. Of no, it's not. It's not the standard. It ain't so about the championships. Joining winning the championships on his own. Somebody who won multiple times. But don't tell me. Don't yeah. tell him to try to tell Jordan how to play his Brandon, game to win Brandon, more Brandon, championships. Brandon, he got Brandon, six. Brandon, 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 Brandon. You're not going to cut us off. We gave you a plenty of time to get that off your chest. Silence yourself. Let B. Lee speak. Okay, so so if six is not the standard, why is four such an issue of winning four, four, four titles? Did he mute so what's, what's the problem with four? Oh, no, four titles. Four titles. That's awesome. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the gentleman saying that if Jordan would have passed the ball, we know the guys couldn't shoot back then. They just couldn't. So passing the guy, pass the ball to those Jordan guys is not the same, huh? Jordan couldn't shoot either. But continue. Oh, Jordan like, was a Jordan. In, Jordan with the Wizards. Jordan with the Wizards. Jordan with the Wizards. Because we don't have stat data going all the way back to the Bulls. He we shot over forty percent outside of three feet. LeBron for career has shot thirty-seven percent for career. So don't you, tell me why, he couldn't. So don't tell me he couldn't wait, shoot. Why? No wait, that's a lie. You're lying. 
Why you bring well, up one season? Well, no, no, you the stat guy. I pull it wait, up. Listen, I listen. know what I'm talking about. No, no, listen. I've done this before. I've been exposed y'all about lying about Jordan's shooting percentage. Go ahead, Brandon. Go ahead, Brandon. That's All a right, lie. Brandon, uh, so, so show us what Jordan shot outside of three feet in 1993. Pull up those numbers. So, oh, so first of all, I'm on, I'm, on my, I'm on my mobile. I can't pull it up right there. Okay, I right. said, I said, all first right. of all, I can't pull up for Jordan for 1993 because I told you stats go back to 92. Stats go back to 96. That's not. I told you what he had with the Wizards, the stats that was available. Wizards, and he shot over 40%. Okay, with, with, with the Wizards, which he, he didn't play great at all. So, so but he didn't play great that, for, he didn't play great for one year. Okay. That team was oh, a 15 all right, all before Jordan right, got hurt right, with 30, right, right, with 30 right. games left to go. So stop building the narrative. Uh, we know the truth because we watch the games. We watch it. Watched he was breaking. We watch him not make the playoffs. You watch him not make the playoffs. But you're saying that Michael Jordan dominated more than everybody because his rings and stats. Is that what you're saying? No, because it's dumb. Because the because the winning, because the winning and dumbest. There was nobody winning as much as Jordan. Oh, when 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 Jordan was playing, there was nobody dominating statistically as Jordan. P or all events, all events that I know some of y'all don't agree with all events, all, but even the the events that that's take you on a per game basis, Jordan is ahead of LeBron. The only stats he got is longevity stats, a career of him, career, all his career, all the per game stats is in Jordan's favor. But he likes to cherry pick stats on this show. No, it's not. Not cherry pick stats because Michael Jordan in the Washington Wizards years shot 37, 38%, bet less than 37, uh, 38% from outside of three feet. You are liars. You guys come on no, my show. No, you are liars. No, that is the facts. Because he, he shot 36% from 3 to 10. He shot 44 from 10 to 16. He shot 43 or 42 and a half from 16 to 3 point and shot less than 30% from 3 point land. When you add all those numbers up, he shot 37.9% outside of 3 feet. And that was in his in fifth year, fifteen season. You brought up all what LeBron James was doing. LeBron and what James did LeBron? Have, what did LeBron? LeBron have, what happened? LeBron no, shot no, for a no, career? No, no, silence. It's silence. What have said. LeBron shot for a LeBron, career? Show that. LeBron James. LeBron James in year twenty one shooting. No, I out. said for a career. No, a career. No, I'm not bringing up career because you can't bring up Jordan's oh, you, career. He lost I, the finals because he couldn't shoot. Him, please, Brandon, he said in himself he couldn't shoot. He lost Brandon, two finals because he can't shoot. Brandon, we gave him a chance to speak. He's gonna have to give me a chance. You're gonna have to give me a chance. Because LeBron James shooting right now is just better than, than Jordan in, in the year 21. So don't bring it up. Michael Jordan is not a great shooter by your eye test, because the eye test just showed that he couldn't shoot that well from outside of 15 feet. We know he can't. Those are the numbers say it as well. You're just lying. You're coming up here lying all the time. And Brandon said it. You brought up stats and championships. He does he doesn't have the most championships and dominated era in NBA history. That's the facts. Brandon, continue. Like I was saying, LeBron, 37 career. You want to bring up one season. Look at his career. Let the, everybody know what he done shot outside the lane for three foot. For, yes, uh, and my, and so, for his career. Jo- listen, outside no, of, We're not talking about Mike. We're out, talking about LeBron. Listen, Let's talk about LeBron. Outside of three feet for Michael Jordan's career, he shot 39%. First of all, you, that's a lie. Outside, they don't, they don't, they don't have the stats for Michael Jordan's whole career. They don't have the stats for Michael I don't have time for him. He's a liar. Oh, these are li- these are liars. Michael Jordan's career numbers that are shown for what he did outside of Look. three feet is less than forty percent for his career because Jordan shoots bad from the three point land. He's saying that it, it 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 doesn't matter for Jordan because they don't have the stats, but it, it matters for LeBron. So that they don't really play. What argument are you making? Who are who are you making it against? Like, I don't even know. From, from my understanding, Bill Russell's stats and championships may, uh, is enough. And if you're going to tell me his 15 points a game is not enough, I'm going to tell you the same thing that you said about Jordan, right? He doesn't have to score more because he won 11 championships. The same way Jordan didn't have to pass the ball more because he won six championships. So Bill Russell didn't have to score 30 points per game because he won 11 championships doing it. I mean, why can't he just bring up Kareem? Because it's not about that. It's going to be about LeBron and Jordan. Y'all already know how they do, man. We got more film. We want, we watching film. I'm tired of these guys trying to bring up stats. All right, All right let's, let's, let's. I don't even know if we finished the 90s. We've we been know, we, trying to finish this one. We're not going, we're not going to finish it because they keep going. Look, now Ryan is up, another Jordan fan. They, they saw what happened to Travis. They see what's happening to Craig. They just keep coming like zombies. Keep coming. Oh, Ryan, Ryan needs to take James Kingdom, baby. Hey, Go James Kingdom, baby. Go James Kingdom. Ryan, 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 Okay, give him a week off because yesterday just video number four coming out soon. 
I just had to. I had to. Oh, uh, Ryan, gotta, what are you doing there? Yes, yeah, Ryan need a break, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you there? Showed back up, man. I mean, that's something. He would. He said he would. I talked to him on Facebook. He said he was going to come back. Yeah. No, Ryan, I'm, just, I'm just listening. I'm just trying to listen to that. You can't, listen. Listen. you can't listen because we got other people that want to join the panel. So if you got something to say, you got to say it. If not, you got to go listen to it. I was just going to keep it in the chat else. today so I, I don't get laughed at again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I, 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 I can leave it. You go and keep it in the chat. You go and keep it in the chat. <laughs> Let's keep, it, keep it in the chat. Thanks. For, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Let's go. If anybody else want to join, today, right? I saw Mingle Jester in the, in the crowd. If you want to join, you can come join. It's sturdy. Uh, All you guys, uh, thank you for thank you for being heavy. Drop it. I see some people here. Twin or. Yeah, who right, wants Brandon, to come? So let's got, let's let's fair. actually get back to this 90, 90, um, oh seven game. Let's <laughs> let's get back to this ninety seven game, uh, which I've been uh, trying to get back. Turn to. over, turn over. Here we go. I can't dribble with my left, so I'm gonna back him Ooh, down. Yeah, Stockton. Yeah. Stockton. <laughs> Boom. Here we go. Brick from from Stockton fifteen. Looks so small. Here we go. Outside of three feet. Let's see what he does. That's okay. Russell, right? There you go. Oh, he dribbled with his left hand more than twice. Oh, there we go. The, the 20-footer. There, oh, look, 15-footer. There you go. I oh, mean, Jordan is backwards. great. Like, we're not going to say uh, Jordan is oh, not great. Fake. He's great. But he he did miss a lot of shots. He didn't he make did. as many as people think he made. He's they think that Michael Jordan just, just posted away. up and never missed. That's just sure. what people think. He just posted up and never missed. That's why he averaged 50 to 60 in the game. Thinks that. <laughs> Nobody thinks that. 49 is not 100. I don't know why you keep saying he never missed. He shot 49. That's not 100%. He missed to get at 49. We're just saying y'all making it seem like he's 30% for a career. Like he's just that terrible. Y'all say Kobe's a better shooter, but Kobe's a career 44. So, Jordan in a Bulls uniform was 51%. Yeah, because because Kobe retired. didn't have John Stockton on him. So John Stockton played the Bulls 82 times a game or a season? No, we're showing him what he did against Stockton. No, this is against Stockton. He had Steve Nash. Is that That's Stockton right there? Is that... How many? How, what was it? Oh, yeah, Travis, 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 Travis you, you, you the stat man, Travis. They stat man, stat man. What was his yeah. goal percentage in this series, 97? What was he shooting? In this series? I don't know. Yes. I'll have to look it up. Oh, this, come on, like do 40, it. We got, we, uh, 44, we, something like that. 43, nothing, something like that. We got nothing but time, man. We hit we the show. We hit the show. <laughs> His bad free throw percentages is somebody's career free throw percentages. Uh, oh, wait. In 1997, Jordan shot 41.5% for the field in that series. 41? Four, oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. It's 96. I'm sorry. That's the wrong series. I got, I got 97. My bad. In 97, he shot 45 and a half. Basically, what Kobe Bryant does. Also, his worst, his bad he just like Kobe. Like good Kobe's career. 40, no, we're just showing you how no, when he was forced. Is, this is Michael Jordan. This is Kobe Bryant. Kobe's a better Brandon, shooter than Jordan, Brandon. but yet he's a career 45, and y'all say he's a bad shooter shooting 45. No, so we're just showing you. It? No, we're showing you that when <laughs> we're showing you that when Jordan wasn't oh. able to get to the rim like he was in early in his career because he was taking a lot of outside shots. He's like declining, the, like I said. No, no, but that's what Kobe Bryant had to do. Kobe Bryant had <laughs> to take those kind of shots, and that's why Kobe Bryant was showing, scoring 45. percent That's what we're trying to explain to you. Yeah, he's just another. He, you look at Kobe Bryant, you see Michael. That's what I see. I see Jordan when I see Kobe Bryant. The exact same thing how LeBron many, didn't how have any issues with Kobe. Kobe. He won't have any issues with Jordan. 50% are better for the season. How many seasons did Kobe have shooting 50% from the field? I mean, but he didn't. He wasn't getting guarded oh, by oh, Danny oh. Ains holding his hands between his kneecaps. Uh, here we go. Here's that's, the that's easy to score. Defense. That's very easy <laughs> to score against. Listen, in the 12 series that Michael no, Jordan played, why do all these series. idiots think that Kobe was playing against zone defense? Zone is played less than four percent any fucking game. Do your own. That's a lie. It's that's not. That, 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 that it goes another that, lie. That, they use. They go okay. another lie. Four percent. Now, are you saying four percent in that pick. era? No, no, he's saying, he's saying that they play 4%. Today, it's they don't play 4%. 4% in any, in that's the a lie. NBA. It's not a thing they rely well, on because they can't well, do it. We're going we're gonna to show you they play more than, but what about We're going to show you they play more than 4% against LeBron when we show you LeBron's film. Go, don't worry. Oh, yes, are you going to show? Uh, go ahead, Sturdy. Go ahead, Sturdy. No, Travis, Travis, Travis. Actually, here's the thing. No one, of course, they're not running strict zone. What you're referring to is the percentage of a strict zone. What is played today and what is allowed to play today is it's called man-to-man -man principles with zone principles implemented. So, for example, that there's plenty. There's honestly about I don't know about 24 teams of the NBA actually run majority of their defenses with that implementation. I understand the percentage, but like that percentage is referring to strict zone. When someone goes on a three-two 
when a three-two zone, no matchup principle. Yeah, that rarely happens. But that's not what teams run defensively. That's not what they're allowed to run in the nineties. Okay, let's go. Let's take away from my point that today you're seeing much of the same principles, especially like the ISO game is even more. No, uh, you're not. ISO, no, that's but not you, true. You're seeing way more wide open shots in today's game because again, you're shooting forty threes a game. You're not seeing like a ton of double and triple teams or anything like that. Like no, no, no you're seeing you're seeing more double teams. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're seeing you're seeing more double teams because teams are have the are, are more allowed to do so. You're seeing more open shots because teams and players are more skilled to shoot the ball. Right. So that means defense are more spread out and they it's have more to ground to defense. cover. It's it harder to play defense. Skill, it's just style of play. It doesn't no, 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 it's it's really had, no, 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 no. The two things, the two things that dictates every, every era of basketball is two key things. That's pace and rules. And because of the rules, especially in today's game, allows you the flexibility to be able to guard the post better, to be able to pack the lane in better, to be able to guard mid-range jump shooters better. You need role players to be better Jump shooters to help spread that defense out. Right. Again, that style of play. No, no, what I just said that because of the rules right, well, allow you to do so. This is Jordan passing the ball. I wanted to beat um, you on that for, for the game winner battle. again. No, no. Okay, this is Steve Kerr at the top of the top of the key. Yeah, and and this is how the, the game ended. Scotty Pippen ending the game. What? Uh, deal. Sturdy, I want a piece of you so bad. Like, give me five minutes. Pause. Like, come on. Pause. Pause. <laughs> you, I got it. 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 You don't got, you don't got five woman. minutes, Travis. You don't got you don't Natural got five born. minutes. Natural born. Listen, listen, listen. Natural born. <laughs> Listen, Travis, you don't got five minutes, but you can't address what he said quickly. Please go ahead. I don't know. I'm, I mean, this is going to take a while because I mean, I'm not going to go back and forth. Like, I would love to have a segmented area where we can break it down. And again, okay, so that means Friday night. So this will be going to be sturdy. Fr sturdy, I want you to, to address what you address about the zone defense. And Travis, that is your job. You're going to address the zone defense on, or the non zone defense factor, okay, on Friday night. Y'all cool with that? Y'all cool with that? Hey, so let's, let's let's keep it moving because Brand, I want to see the brawn. I want to see the gold. I'm tired of seeing the right hand bandit. Yeah, because we tired. We tired of seeing the right hand bandit. I'm tired I mean, of seeing the right hand bandit. So many shots. Many Jordan games already. I'm he, so tired he, he of so right hand so menace. The right he hand menace. The old show about Jordan, but y'all so tired of menace. Yeah, that's the name of the show. Oh, how overrated I'm Jordan was. So tired of Jordan, but y'all made a whole show about him. Yeah, we just, I bet you next week is going to be another show about him. <laughs> let, let's, no. let's, 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 let's detract from Jordan and just say this. So let's admit that it was a developing league and it wasn't where it is today. It was a lot of, it was, it was drug use in the eighties, gambling in the nineties, the, the European game wasn't developed yet. Um, that's one of the reasons the dream team dominated and no one realized that when you know, the early thousands, USA teams uh, struggled and why they struggled uh, uh, throughout more times throughout the uh, 2000s because the European League developed. And that's just what we're looking at. We're looking at an undeveloped, underdeveloped league at the time. You know what I mean? You wouldn't be allowed to do drugs the way you, you were uh, back in the 80s now or in the 90s or gambling. <laughs> stuff. All of that stuff is curtailed. I mean, I mean for, for the players for, in the like, 90s are drug tested one time. Hey, he before the game. Hey, hey Twin, Twin Man, for one thing, um, um, Isaiah Thomas said it, it, it perfectly. Michael Jordan didn't put in the work to beat them. He didn't lift weights. He didn't work work, work on his game. It took Michael Jordan until he was, what, 28? To start lifting weights to try to win, even if we he lost, he had that little famous thing that he didn't care about winning versus Boston because he he wants some some money in playing cards. So Michael Jordan just didn't put in the effort to try to win games. He didn't work on his game. He didn't work on his left hand. He didn't work on getting bigger. He was he was 190 pounds complaining about getting fouled. Put on some muscle. Put on some weight. There, 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 yeah, there, no joke. No jokes though, but. You know, I was watching. I was watching FYF yesterday, and re really, that it was a serious issue. Like it was a weight problem. You know, what I'm saying people were not taking the game as seriously as they are now. Like t today, you know, everything is concentrated on nutrition and work and 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 workout routine, load management. Lo for sure. I'm about to say all that, and so he was still able to play 82 games a season. 
But because it gets trash, because he was playing trash people. That's why it's easy to do that when you're playing in the uh, 80s and the 90s. There we go. There we go. There, there's a difference between uh, Michael Jordan developing his game and LeBron James. LeBron came out of high school. He came into the league at 19. Jordan spent three years at North Carolina. That's a huge difference, and you don't have a left coming out of North Carolina. That's, That's a how big basketball difference. was back then. What do you mean by, by how left? Basketball was back what do you mean by left? Like we've seen footage of him going up. Are you talking about ambidextrous? Like he's shooting equally well with both hands? Is that what you're talking about? No, that's not. You know what I'm talking about. about, about Travis. We're not talking about left hand layup. Come on now. We're not talking about left hand layup. We're talking. We're talking when you're guarding somebody and you realize they don't dribble that much with their left hand. You let you push them left. There's you push them left. That's what you do, and that's what Detroit Pistons did three straight playoffs. Push him left right. and force him to actually play. And mind you, even when they won in 91, Jordan didn't even play that much better. It was Scottie Pippen that played better. The team ended up playing better. Jordan still averaged 30 um, points per game. And he was, but again, he was never efficient going left. He couldn't go left. But they knew what he was going to do. He was going to pick up the ball in two dribbles. They knew it. It was the game plan. They did it for three straight years. He never developed that game that y'all claim he developed because Jordan was basically what? because that he was smoking cigars. He, he was gambling at night. At all. We all know that. Listen, we all know Michael Jordan. Yeah. Jordan, There's absolutely Jordan, nothing to Jordan, support that Jordan, Jordan worked out in the morning, right? Then he went to practice. Then he played the game. Then he went to gamble, played cards all night, woke up the next morning. And then when, when he started playing golf, he stopped working out. Jordan didn't even work out. I can tell you like because, was, you know, he used come to go on. to Indiana. Like, come on. LeBron doesn't do that. The players today yeah, can't do that. These guys have 24-7 regiments in basketball, bro. Yeah, this, this notion that, that Michael Jordan is better in the 88 than LeBron in 2013 is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> no, I wanted to bring it up because Brandon – didn't put any effort in. Yeah, because Brandon brought up that we was comparing them at 22 years old, right? But let's compare them four years in the NBA. And and Jordan's fourth year in 1989, was he taking his team to the finals or was he choking against the Detroit Pistons because he couldn't go left? So I see, I bring up the team thing to delegate who had a better season, but then I want to talk about stats as who's the better player. Okay. I'm just I, all I'm saying is, is about that the eye test. Is, would you is, all I'm yeah. saying is that when, when LeBron faced the the, the, the San Antonio uh, offense in 2007 and they told him like y'all said to shoot the ball from perimeter and forced him to shoot and showed the league how to play zone against LeBron the next year he came back and changed his game and kept developing exactly. developing it by the time to 2009 he was actually the league MVP had a better season than Jordan ever had and then he had False. to face a, uh, it, it was two, go look up the numbers I go look up the numbers Go the look numbers, up the numbers. You know, They're just talking about 1988 when he just wasn't really that great of a player. All he did was jack up a lot of shots, miss a LeBron, lot of shots. LeBron was the league <laughs> okay. MVP. He was second in, in the defensive player of the year voting. He was also the all NBA first team, all defensive first team. He was legitimate. Okay. He was he was killing it. He was killing it in 2009. He just didn't win the championship. How about being first defensive player and being MVP? Not second. Exactly. And and that year and that like I said in that same year Jordan choked in the playoffs. LeBron didn't choke. Who was the better player statistically? That's what I'm telling you because that's what we're talking. But that's what we're talking about. And Jordan's fourth season. And first of all, and Jordan's fourth season, he didn't make it out of the second round. He got, so that's he got Jordan. So when we say, so I'm, when someone no, says, lost, no, no, don't say it's a team thing. No, he lost in the Eastern don't Conference Finals. Don't say it's a team finals. thing when someone brings it has nothing to do with how good they were No, the they lost because, like, 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 like the oh, guy just said. they win because Listen, of Jordan. If they lost, they lost. Jordan, no, they lose okay, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. So when a guy blames LeBron for two, losing in 2007, we're blaming Jordan for losing in 2000, I mean, I in 1989. Every championship he won is because of LeBron. Hey, Craig, hey, Craig, let me ask you a question. If you take Michael Jordan. Every championship is because of LeBron. Wrong. That's my opinion. So wait, Johnny. All right, Johnny. Uh, Craig. Craig, let, 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 let me ask you a question, Craig. Let me ask you a question. Hold up, Travis. If you take Michael Jordan from 1996 and you put him in the playoffs in 1995 versus the Pistons, do you think they'll win more than one game? You said 1995. They didn't play the Pistons. In no, 1996. Um, when Jordan came back, would you? If you take him out of 1996 and put him in the 1988 playoffs versus Detroit, do you think they'll win more than one game? Cause they was they they lost four to one. That Mike Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Ninety six Jordan was a champion, so he knew what he needed to do to win. So of course, if you a champion and you go back in time and know what to do to win, you're gonna beat the team that beat you. Okay, no, and I'm just saying. Do you, I, do I you think home. that was a better Jordan in 1988? Because you said that because 1996 of, he wasn't as prime, but 1988 he was better than than, than LeBron. 
He was declining. He was a champion. He knew how, he had the right pieces in 96 to win. Okay. That's, but no, you put him on that team in 1988. Do you think the Bulls will win more than one game? I would say. Yeah, they win the championship. I'll tell you why. 1988 believe, Bulls winning a yeah. championship with LeBron. Huh? The so 1988 what? Bulls are winning a championship with LeBron. Uh, I'm not going that far. Listen, the Detroit Pistons. The Detroit Pistons was a was a. Listen, the Detroit Pistons was a a sprained ankle away from beating the, the the Lakers that year, and and that Pistons team is not better than LeBron. LeBron had that same team in 1988 with Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant, Charles Oakley, and all those guys. He's definitely to, he's definitely he's definitely winning the championship. So you know, look, when I say hypothetical, it's is the, it's yeah, the, I'm not, you know, there's no need for hypothetical. Anybody could, could answer this question. Would Michael Jordan in 1996 win more than one game versus the Pistons in the playoffs? That Jordan. Yeah, I think I, I think I think it would win more than one game. I think but instead of going five, it'd probably go six. So probably go Brent, six let games. me ask you let me ask you this question here. So you said that okay, the, it was against the Pistons, and like it was because it was left hand or whatever, and it was fourth year or whatever. He was losing, and I was on mic, right? So tell me again during that time frame or whatever fourth year, what mm-hmm. or when at what point was Michael Jordan losing because he was shooting uh fifteen percent below his uh, regular season shooting percentage on four splits, uh, and after he had like a phenomenal year, took his team to the finals with undermanned help. And it's like, I when was it Mike's actual fault? Statistically, I'm pretty sure he didn't play Detroit three when, straight years in the first round. When, when did he actually fold on a, like a <laughs> incredible like in nineteen in nineteen in nineteen eighty eight? Michael Jordan went up against the the, the Cleveland Cavaliers and or averaged forty five points per game, shooting fifty six percent from the field. Better than any series LeBron's ever had. Oh, wait, wait. Michael Jordan goes into the next series against the same Detroit Pistons. His his stats go down. He loses that series after after, after tying the series to a 1-1. He loses three straight games because he scored under 25 points per game in each game. And Michael Jordan goes to averaging 27 points per game and only shooting 49% from the field. So Michael Jordan, listen, Michael Jordan, oh, wait, Michael Jordan was the league MVP. He was the defensive player of the year. He was all NBA first team. He was all defensive first team. He was the all-star MVP. He was the scoring champ. He was the steals champ. He was all of that. So Yo, Michael the Jordan dunk goes contest, into, the dunk contest. And, and the dunk contest winner. So in 1988, the if you're going to tell me Michael Jordan was the greatest player of all time and LeBron James had no series where he played like this, right? And Jordan's doing this against a team that has one all-star, no all-NBA players, no all-defensive players. That's what Detroit had in 1980. Who was Jordan's all-star no, teammate in 88? That wasn't even my question. Brad, my question is, okay, so 06 LeBron takes his team to the finals, right? He shot 48% from the field, 27 or 27 points per game, six boards, five assists, okay? And he shoots 35% in the finals and, and loses directly because of that. That series was within four points per game on average. If LeBron plays even average, uh, again, he they win that series probably going away. But he folded and again, they directly again, lost because of that. Again, and that's the same. And that's the same thing with Jordan. They lost no, directly not. because Jordan did not average his league average of thirty-five points per game, his playoff average of thirty-six yeah. points per game. He did not shoot his average Damn, of fifty-four percent. He he didn't do none of that. His assists went down. His steals went down. His turnovers went up. So throughout all of this, <laughs> Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan lost in all of that series. So now you're bringing up when him going to the finals versus a team that had two all-defensive player, first-team players on the roster, an all-NBA first-team player on the roster. So we're and talking that's about who, a slight decline no, in no, percentage No, 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 no. It's not a slight decline. It's not a slight decline. Oh, wait. It's not a slight decline because you, you're, you're, you brought up 2007. You brought up 2007 where LeBron James in that NBA finals. Let me make sure I bring it up because I want to make sure I'm talking about it right. In the 2007 finals, LeBron averaged 22 points per game, seven rebounds, and seven assists. For that for that NBA season, I think LeBron James averaged, what, 28 points per game? So he went in the playoffs. He wasn't doing that much better because he had 25 in, in the series before, 26 the series before that, and 28 the series before that. So LeBron James okay. wasn't averaging all these other points, and it went down drastically for him because he was only averaging like 25 points per game in the playoffs. He went down three points playing against a real defensive team. Jordan went down. Series. Jordan went season. down. Jordan went down 20 percent all of his production, and his team lost because it of it. Not. And that same team that beat him ended up going to the NBA Finals. And uh, like I said, was a uh, Isaiah Thomas sprained ankle away from winning the championship. No, so not, LeBron, he, okay, LeBron we're talking James, about 89, right? 
No, no, what, 89 is even worse because he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't even. Okay, even if you, 88, no, 88 is his fourth year. From the field, right? 88 is his fourth year because you bring up 89, he's not he's not an MVP of the league like LeBron was in his fourth okay, NBA so, season. Sure, 88, oh, he shoots that. 53%. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, regular I'm sorry. season, he shoots 50 or 53% from the field in the playoffs. He shoots the exact He wasn't an same MVP. Thing. LeBron was an MVP. What happened? Uh, so, in the regular know, season, 88, 1988, like you're talking about, Michael Jordan shot 53% uh-huh. of the field, the exact same percentage in the playoffs. No, I get in that series. We're not talking about, about in the playoffs. The We're, We're talking, talking about, about that series, series against Detroit. That's for the series. Detroit against Detroit because if we go to LeBron James in 2007 during the playoffs, he didn't have a bad playoff run. He just had a bad series against the the, the Spurs. Like I said, who have two all NBA, I mean two all defensive first team players on the roster. LeBron James in 2007 averaged 27 points per game during the regular season. He averaged 25 in the playoffs. So he didn't well, drop that much. He didn't drop. Why y'all Jordan much. fans do this to yourselves? Like just. I don't like, understand that. He shot. Hey, wait. He hey. he shot forty-seven percent from the field during the regular season. During the playoffs, in that same two thousand and seven, he shot forty-one percent. So his his percentage went down there as far as his field goal. Percentage. And then it went so to thirty-five good. in the finals. So you're talking about a thirteen. No, and no, because no, that is forty. Drop? No, it's forty-one because of the NBA finals. Did you take away the NBA finals? It's not forty-one. Yeah, that's what exactly. You're to We're talking series by series, but that's just what, like you were. But that's what I'm saying, and that's why Jordan series numbers goes down because Jordan only had two series. Jordan didn't even. Jordan only won four games. That, Jordan won four games. Inconsequential. You know, but about. the thing is, Travis. The thing is, um, you guys are saying that Jordan in 1988 was better than LeBron in 2013. That's not even close. Wildly. It's not even close. He was nowhere near Jordan, on LeBron's man. level. He was not by, on LeBron's by level. Measurement. By any measurement, Jordan was better. If you look at analytics, he blows them away. Again, stats per game blows them away. Defense blows yeah. them away. No, yeah, but if you, if you comparing stats though to a are, losing are, are, team, oh, oh, are you go. sitting here so saying that Michael Jordan in 1988 was, was better than LeBron James in 2013? I, 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 I think we need the footage. It's only team success when you win the finals. When you make the finals and lose, it's not team success. So Mike, that Mike, wasn't LeBron the GOAT after 2007 because he dragged that? Jordan team doesn't have any real team success out of making the finals, Craig. That's what you all understand. Jordan has no real team success out of the six finals he made. That's what you fail to realize. The years that you guys keep talking about, the years you want to keep talking about, Jordan kept choking in the playoffs. 88, 89, okay. 87. All those years he was choking. Choking? Are you, okay, are you he choked, really right? saying that Jordan in 88 was better than LeBron in 2013? Really? Where's Jordan wasn't even developing in 88. He wasn't yeah, even the That's peak. not even his peak, right? I would not feel like Jordan wasn't better. No. No, oh, come on now. No, but no, again, yeah, but, but Brandon, season. they can't so go it, no it, other season because the, the like stats said, say that's no, the best Jordan. Jordan. If you want to say Jordan. he had a better season because he's the NBA champion, I'm fine. But don't go and say because he made the finals and lost. They both didn't win a championship that season. That's the ultimate goal, right? It's the winning what championship. What you mean? What, what, so what, they, what are you talking about? No, I'm not season. Yeah, what I'm saying, it, what I'm saying is, y'all keep saying that he made the finals. Jordan couldn't make the finals. But when, mm-hmm. when I, and I said, well, why? Well, how come when we do talk about that, it's oh, he didn't play. He played more than six seasons. And that, like, I, I don't get it. Like, y- y'all want no, to because you the no, finals, because no, because we're trying to explain you no. not winning the finals because that's a team achievement. Winning no, because we're telling you, 2007. We're telling you, the year four LeBron is better than year four Jordan. Did he have? And, did he take his team further? You yes, he won. He won his conference. conference. He won his conference while Jordan choked in the second round to From a team a that team had no person. all defensive. So the team that had no all defensive up players. What his opponents did individually? Then why you keep saying well, he played the, against the all thing, The thing is that you're comparing like LeBron had to reduce his production in scoring on those teams. When you're talking about ball dominant, because it, so that so it's like yeah, the numbers are going to look worse in terms of like scoring ability. And so it's like you're talking about LeBron James. He had to re- he had to play a different type of game with Miami, and so it, he was only shooting like 17 shots a game from his normal 19 or 20 uh, when he was with the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. So that that is a huge um, loss awesome. in production and volume. No, it's not. He's dude. His first his first uh, his first season in Seattle or in uh, Miami, he took as many as Dwayne Wade, and they both took like 19 shots a game. There's no, what, didn't, didn't you say 2013 though, right? 
You said he, did, he did. differed in Miami, right? He did say 2013. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I said 2013. He said 1988 Jordan was better than 2013 LeBron. He yeah, 2013 yeah. LeBron James is only taking like 17 shots a game, and it, like his he has to play like a different role when he what? was playing with Miami. What? And so Why? that's that's kind of disingenuous LeBron, to say that like like um LeBron's like Michael Jordan is better than LeBron from that year. Like his right, production. Travis, Travis. Like, yeah. All right, Trav, let, let me ask you a question because you because you guys won't answer the question. If you take Michael Jordan from '96 and put him on that 1988 playoffs versus Pistons, will they only win one game or will they win more? They would just win one to me. Uh, I mean, I think, I think, I think that games. team was. I think that that Pistons. Yeah, team I use a hypothetical to try to prove this point, but we can't because it never happened. We will never know if Jordan can average fifty. If we're doing theoretical, I think it would have been. And, and can you let Travis game? answer the question, Craig? Can you just let I'm him answer? I'm just it? saying, y'all, y'all so hypocritical. Just let him answer. Y'all literally arguing now that we can't think Jordan would average fifty because we'll never mm-hmm. see that. But you want to find out? We're trying to find out. We're trying to find out. Just let him answer it. Just let him answer it. I just want to find out <laughs> what, what you think. What you think, Travis? Because we can't use no years for Jordan. What you think, uh, Travis? I think I think they may have like had a little bit more stick because I think Jordan was a little bit more well rounded as far as like in the team game, but I don't think he was as good defensively. Uh, he may have tried to involve the team into a little more, but nobody's beating that Pistons team, especially not the Bulls that year. And so, I mean, I mean, I should say the Bulls aren't beating them that year. So that team was one of the most well rounded, especially on the defensive end. I mean, teams we've ever seen, especially in that era. So I don't think that 96 Mike's going to power them because they needed a, they needed a better team. They didn't right. have a, uh, no, 1988, who had the best defense in basketball, Travis? I mean, I mean, I mean, who who Michael Jordan couldn't guard on the Pistons? Was it the Bulls? Yes. Who could who could Michael Jordan guard on the Pistons? I'm I'm lost. Who could Michael? You me? You in telling 90- me that Joe Dumars would have destroyed Jordan defense? Oh, he would have just got had his way with Jordan. In no, that's not what I'm saying at all. No, you, that's not what I'm saying at all. I said that said team he was, was well defensively. Formed. That team was better rounded as far as again what they want to do offensively. I mean, if you wanted to pull the series, we could break it all down eventually. But I mean, yes, we can break it down. You're going to you're going to see Jordan choking in Game Three, Four, and Five. I, I, if if you take Michael Jordan in 1996 and put him on the Bulls in 1988, the Bulls will win a title. The Bulls will I, win a title. We'll never know that because I don't think happen. they're beating the Showtime Lakers. Know. It's speculation. They would definitely beat them. It's speculation. Michael Jordan. We'll never know. Michael Jordan at ninety six is head and shoulders above everyone else in the league. And nineteen eighty eight Jordan. Nineteen eighty eight Jordan was not as great as just because he had a high usage rate on his team doesn't mean that no, he's it's with because a better he, player. He was literally the best at everything we've ever seen almost in that season. He said everything. He said everything. <laughs> Basically, everything. Basically, everything. If you're talking about, listen, if you're talking what was he? About, what would be better? Okay, if what was he better than? But I'm listen. stupid. If I think Jordan can average 50, what was he better than? <laughs> if you're talking about moving the needle offensively and defensively, again, that was the best player we've ever seen, as far as especially analytically. Was he the most efficient guy ever? No, but he was above average in that regard. Uh, go, again, above average rebounds and assists. Again, he was the most well-rounded player, as far as what are you doing on both ends. Was he the best passer then? No. But you're not going to find a better two-way player, that's what I'm trying to say, in league history than that year. Why Why? Why did Why did, why did that help? Why did he only win one game in, in, in a postseason I'm not and his talking about numbers dropped success. dramatically? We're talk- the original, why did his numbers drop dramatically? Was, the initial discussion was who was the better player that year. Okay. Okay, you're saying 1988 Jordan was the best we've ever seen. Why did his numbers drop dramatically? What I will tell you, in, in, that, in, that, in that series, if you put 1988 Jordan on 2011 playing ability, if you put 1988 Jordan on 2011 Heat, they sweep all the way to the finals and win that too easily. False, false. They don't okay. even the 19, wait, in 19 wait, what? Jordan, Jordan D Wade is in the same. Uh, yeah, ex- I just want to explain why Michael Jordan could only win one game. In the in the second round, if he was this great player, you saying? I, I'm just trying to understand that. I don't have an answer what for you there. What happened that he only won one game? because <laughs> they scored less points than the other team. What would make, what would Jordan do better on 2011 than LeBron? Than LeBron would? They, they wouldn't like, make it to the finals. They wouldn't You're make done, it to okay. the finals. Okay, for one thing, they he wouldn't make the finals. the finals. They wouldn't make the finals. Jordan was and, not and that, and that's why they would have lost. Of a player. Listen, I never see Jordan losing the finals, so I can't, 
I, I, I said, no, I get, I didn't get swapped in the first round. No. We, we just watched the film. We just watched the film. We're missing 30 jumpers. Can I ask, can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? Can I ask the Jordan fans one quick question? No, you can break it down the years. Here, you got to break down the wins. You can break down the years. But. Oh, he wants us to say like six and nine. Oh, six and fifteen. Yeah, six and seven. Six and yeah. seven. Yeah, he's six and, oh, you talk about the playoffs. Oh yeah, so six. Okay. Six and seven. Yeah, he's six and seven. Okay, I just I, it's I don't know. Like you know, I noticed the answer didn't come off as quickly as six and zero. Oh. Is is weird to me. Like it's, it's weird to make that. I've never used that no, argument you, one time. Not even once. No, I just I know what I'm saying. I literally just heard Craig. Say, I never lost. I never heard. I never seen Jordan lose in the finals. Yeah, because Jordan couldn't like, make the finals in '88. No, like the finals in '88, he would have lost. No, I'm making a point. I'm making a point. I'm making a point. Was the greatest basketball player we ever seen, but he only won one game in the second round. I'm just trying and, to and wrap so my head his around team that. Co- is making the finals or winning the finals a team okay, achievement? Because that's all we say. No, 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 with Jordan, with to, Jordan, it's I'm not a team accomplishment. It's a Jordan accomplishment. Would you say 2009 LeBron is better than Michael Jordan in 1998? When he won the, I think the MVP scoring title. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think yeah, like I 2009 LeBron's stats yeah. are better than Jordan's. And he was better LeBron defensively with Jordan was in '98 too. No, starting. Okay, would you say, say also LeBron starting? was better than Jordan in '97 as well as winning the finals? Uh, Since like what, his 2009 stats. LeBron. Better. I would say yeah, 2009 LeBron. I I would so say that yeah, 2009 LeBron stats. 2008 LeBron to 2013 LeBron. Again, that player altogether is second only to '88 to '93 Mike. And like possibly seventy to like seventy eight Kareem, but I play him ahead of Kareem, okay? Because defensively he was a monster. Offensively he was like the most efficient we've ever seen as far as his position goes, and certainly in his career. So he was, by the, in my opinion, the second best player of all time, especially in that. I can't time. wait. Yeah, the he next, was much better. I can't wait. The next next show for is nineteen eighty eight. He was much better than ninety seven, ninety eight. I can't Mike wait. In those respect, in those regards. You're gonna say we're cherry picking as soon as I put that. I, I, put just, that I, I just want. I just want to say. I just want to say. Um, the the major flaw in in Jordan fans and their explanation, their belief of why Jordan is the goat is just simply how they compare them. How they how they compare every NBA player to Michael Jordan. The more closely you look to Jordan, you, that's the only way you can surpass Jordan. And that's that's I know that that's the common theme here. And what 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 people are saying, right? You guys are doing a disservice to Jordan, like I said, by not by not just being accurate with this man's career. When you guys make these hyperbolic statements, you guys won't just acknowledge basic facts. It's okay. It's not going to take away any of Jordan's greatness. As a matter of fact, it's going to help Jordan in the long run. The whole show been if if there's different. You know what? Everybody attacks. No, no, no. That's what the show no, no, no. Is no, 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 that's not, that's not, you stop being a victim, stop being a victim. No, 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 Craig, I'm going to ask you two questions. I'm going to ask you two questions. Stop being a victim. No, 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 it's no, big. come on, study, study, study. We don't, we get, you guys, listen, you, you, yeah. you guys cannot come up here and challenge Travis and Craig for their takes. This is what they are. They are the Michael Jordan fans of Goat James Kingdom. We allow them to speak. So you're not going to sit here and address them. Let them say what they have to say. You guys cannot do that because we're not going to have a show where y'all go back and forth. And Friday nights for that, not Sunday, please, guys. So go ahead, Brandon, please. Okay, um, Craig, how, how many um, how many games of the 88 Pistons playoffs did you have you watched? When I, I went back to watch? How many have you watched? Did you watch I, all, all? I watched. Or did you watch I, one? I watched this whole playoff from the first round to when he lost. I went back because I was four years old in 88. I'm five years old. Okay, uh, okay Travis, how, how, how many have you seen? I watched that entire series again more than once, but it's been years. Okay, so when I went went to YouTube, they they didn't have one of the um, the 1988 playoff games on there. They had the um, last game that was chopped and screwed up. So I don't know what y'all was watching. Um, I think you guys are just coming up here lying. In Did you MTV. never watch it? You know, like, you, yeah, you can definitely never watch. You probably never watch. You're probably lying. But but anyway, I, I'm I'm gonna go pull the footage. I'm gonna go pull the footage of this player that you so said was the greatest player to ever put on shoes. The greatest players to ever put on shoes. 
You only don't worry. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get the this footage. More and you're gonna say I'm cherry picking. King Money Fly, oh, sorry we didn't get you up, man. Sorry we didn't get no you videos up. videos on YouTube, so we lying. Like, YouTube is the only place to watch video. No, Craig, Craig, I'm going to be honest with you, Craig. I, 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 if I'm correct, I'm still the only one here that's over 40, correct? Travis, you're not 40, no. right? I am 40. I'm 40. I'm 40. I'm 44. You're for, okay, so, Craig, in, 19, and, and Craig, in 1988, you was what, six, seven, eight years old? That's like why I said I went back and watched it on NBA TV. I didn't watch it live. That's what I said. Yeah, but when that NBA TV show you a whole, all of Michael Jordan series? That's what it I'm saying. We don't, it won't show you the whole series at one time, but you watch the there's show no you footage. games like... NBA it's, classics. Okay. So, I, Bro, again, so that's you're what saying you watch Michael Jordan average 25 points a oh game, and you said, this is the greatest player I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> was struggling going to his left. And you that's said, that's the greatest that's, player I've that's seen what in my the life. NBA said. That's what the NBA said. That's not what I said because I wasn't old enough to say it, to watch him to say it. That's what the you NBA just said. said. It. That's what the people he was playing against said. I'm you going just, by what the NBA players said. Okay, okay, Travis. You said you watched those games. So you saw Michael Jordan the last like three or four games, average twenty five points per game, turning the ball over like crazy. You said this is the greatest player to ever put on shoes. Is that what you saw? Is that what you saw? So you're asking me, Brendan, if I use if I use a sample size of three games to say that's my goat? Definitely not. I use what we're doing now is we can look back <sighs> in hindsight and say, okay. What does the entire resume say? That's what I use. Again, if we're talking about the best single season of all time, give me 95 Akeem. If we're talking about careers and like total stats, LeBron. But if we're talking about who was the best player on any given night on both ends, that's Michael Jordan. And he's got the accolades. 1988 Jordan, that's the problem. You said 1988 Jordan. And we all know my 1988 Jordan was not developed. He was not that great of a player that people have seen because he had a high usage rate. Russell Westbrook in 2017 was a better player than 1988 Michael Jordan. By what measurement? They had to change the stats, the advanced stats, to prove that Jordan was still better. Okay, he wasn't better offensively or defensively. By any measure you want to go to. No, 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 Travis, Travis, that is true. Before before they changed the formula. It, Westbrook no. had the highest PR season of all time. It doesn't matter about Listen, PR. Travis, Travis, you just said that we can't measure Michael Jordan based off of three games, but yet the 2007 finals is only four games. So are we limited to only three games? Once it reaches no. four, that's it, it never counts. the only example I use with the Bronx. And okay. I don't even use okay. it to no, not I just wanna, no, 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 because I want to make sure. Because I want to make sure, because in 2007, you are. in 2007, not only did LeBron James get his team into a better record than what Michael Jordan had mm-hmm. in 19 mm-hmm. in 1988, which you, you guys all agree, I've heard uh, uh, Craig said that that's the greatest Jordan of all time because of his accolades, right? So Jordan chokes in a no, playoff that's series. That's the greatest NBA season of all time. Okay, okay. 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 I think the best the best okay. Jordan ever was ninety three. Okay, and that's why that's why Brandon asked you guys if ninety six Jordan would be able to win more games to prove your point. So Jordan's what? best accolade Maybe. season doesn't what? show how great of he was as a player, right? So in this series where he played he played five games in this series, Jordan had four games under thirty points. How many times do you guys think Michael Jordan scored under thirty points in nineteen eighty eight? Hey, LeBron's entire career is under 30 points. I ask like, you again, you how many Jordan? times do you think Michael Jordan scored less than 80, I mean, less than 30 points in 88? Uh, well, he averaged, what, 34 points a game? So probably not many. 30, he averaged 35. 30, 35, okay. 35. Yes. Probably, Jordan, probably has, only Jordan sure. has, listen, so Jordan has 23 games in 1988 where he has scored less than 30 points in. So that means si- almost 60 games Jordan played in, he scored 30 points or more. That is three out of every four games. He goes into this series and gives you four. Four. That's a that's one-fifth of what he did the whole season in one series. Oh, okay. So you're saying his scoring dipped a little bit and his percentage was... I'm saying he choked. The same. I'm saying he choked because his ch- game wasn't that's developed. Lo- so that's his my game choke. wasn't developed. LeBron didn't choke. LeBron faced a great defense. Again, uh, Jordan. Why is it always is. competition when with it's LeBron? Joke, but it's just Jordan, strictly Jordan. When Mike Jordan. loses this, he Jordan chokes. Loses when LeBron loses, no, no. The LeBron, loses. LeBron, LeBron didn't. LeBron, LeBron didn't choke. You literally just said it. 
LeBron, LeBron didn't, didn't choke. LeBron, LeBron didn't Jordan choke did. in those four well, games because LeBron LeBron James team because LeBron game. James team was not predicated on him scoring uh, thirty points per game go. like Jordan. That's no, but that's the point. What are you talking you, about? Oh wait, you guys always say that the reason the Bulls wins is because of Michael Jordan's thirty points per game. No, I've never said that. So now I'm showing you that he didn't score thirty, and that's why he lost, and you're upset. No, hundred percent not. Did lose. If y'all gonna give him credit for losing, I'm saying give him the same credit for winning. 2007, LeBron easily led his team in shot attempts per game. Losing, then give him more credit when they win. Those say it's okay. a team. 2007, no, I, gave, LeBron, I gave Jordan his six championships. That's not enough to be the GOAT. Jordan's okay. six championships is not enough to make him the GOAT. Okay. His six so championships is not enough to make him the GOAT. Easily leads mm-hmm. his team in shots per game at 21, okay? And he does mm-hmm. the same thing throughout the playoffs. So he is the guy down on me. Okay, he averaged, like I said before, 40% shooting. If Michael Jordan had won I don't care what what his points dropped off if he had went into a single series against the pistons and his shooting percentage dropped by almost 13 percent and he lost because his team lost by an average of less than four per game you would have eviscerated him LeBron Again, did that it's That's the same thing with jordan shot. jordan choked the same way the reason they lost did because that. Yes, he did, because in 19, again, in 1983, Michael, I mean, 1988, Michael Jordan went three straight games where he had under 25 points per game. The Chicago Bulls barely win if he's scoring 25 points per game. There's a plenty of games that the Cavaliers won where LeBron James wasn't scoring 25 points. So sure. you can't say but that. The so that's the point. Them. No, but, that, but, that, hey, hey, but hey, it wasn't hey, because on, of his final stats. It was because it, it was because his team wasn't better enough. Jordan was supposed to be the one to be his team. LeBron played oh, team basketball. They lost by hold, 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 hold up, guys. Hold up. No, it hold, wasn't. Hold up, his team didn't hold, play hold as well guys. as well. What? Jordan's team, right. Jordan's team played better against Detroit than they did against Cleveland, and they, he and he lost against Detroit. Every single one of LeBron's teammates outshot him that series. Every starter. Mm-hmm. They outshot him because LeBron's willing to pass, not take bad shots. You can't be a ball hog and shoot badly and expect your team to win, though. That that is that is true. You got to if you're gonna score and your team is dependent on you to score, then that's he the that's how you win. Attempts per game that that finals too. Where's the disconnect? His team wasn't eating because he was busy choking and turning the ball over almost five uh, turnovers per game, well above his average that season as well. He Jordan had the turnovers too. I told you the same thing about Jordan's turnover. Jordan's turnovers went up. His assists went down. LeBron's assists didn't go down. LeBron's rebounds didn't go down. His, all that still good. stayed the same. He kept playing the same throughout. The, that's what I'm saying. The only thing yep. was he, he shot bad because, because he had an all league. Because he had the all he had all and all and all defensive first team guy guarding him. And he then there was a, the there was a all the there was an all defensive it, first it, team it, guy. It, again. It, it is the competition the because that's why Jordan oh, choked because Jordan so was supposed to be the was better Robin team. Was the defensive player of the year? Was it Robin a different? You worried about a. You no, were a 36-year-old. Jordan was a defensive player of the year in 1988. Jordan I'm was a defensive player in 1988. Come on, Craig. LeBron folded against Robert Ory and Bruce Bowen. That, yeah, I'm saying Robert won, period. <laughs> So Robert Ory locked down LeBron. When did Robert, no, hold up. When, when, when did Robin win defensive player of the year? Uh, what was it, 88, 89? No. Or no, 89, 90, sorry. No. 91 and 92. He won in Pretty 91 sure and, so, yeah, so 91 that was, and 92. That was years before he won defensive player of the year. So he, so he years before he won defensive player of the year. In the 80s either? No. No. In, 19, in 1988, Dennis Rodman played 21 minutes per game, averaged seven points, seven rebounds, a half a steal, and a so half a block. He outplayed Pippen. He outplayed Pippen. No, he did it. Yeah. No, he did it. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, guys. So, um, let, let, let me just ask John a question. So, I know I know you're saying that the 2007 NBA Finals. When you watched that, did you say that Le- that was like the best player to ever play the game? When you saw LeBron play in 2007 in the Finals. In, t- in 2007, I don't think he was the mm-hmm. best player to you, ever play. Ever. Okay. Ever. okay. Uh, when you see LeBron play in 2013, would you say that was like the best like player you yes. ever seen? Yes. All right. So what if what, what if what if LeBron would have, you know, got into a playoff series and he, like, averaged 25 and less and they lost the series four games to one? Would you have said in 2013 he was probably the, the greatest player you've seen? No. If he would have 
Okay, so why are you guys saying in 1988 Michael Jordan is the greatest player basketball? Let me rephrase that. Don't make any sense. That's what the NBA said. Don't make any sense. I said it was the greatest seasons individually the NBA ever had. John, so if you're watching the regular season there, John, and you and after the end of the regular season they ask you that same question, you would say yes. At the end of the regular season, yeah, that Maybe. huge sample size. Maybe, but we know what Jordan did the rest of the season in the playoffs. We know this. We're not asking in, in April nineteen eighty eight though. It's We're not asking April nineteen eighty eight. It's not about results. It's about the eye test, right? So you're saying eighty two games of LeBron in two thousand thirty is enough for you to say, well, I just see what he does in the playoffs. Now he ended it. Brandon ended everything with the playoffs, though. Everything ended with Brandon at the playoffs and not the regular season. I mean, okay. So he wasn't even the best, like, at in the playoffs like that year. Like, he was – his numbers actually came mm-hmm. down a little bit. Who's Jordan's? No, no, no. LeBron. Oh, LeBron. That wasn't LeBron's even best playoffs. Because, uh, again, he was on that super team. But if you're talking about efficiency yeah, from the regular season, yes. yes. If you, can, if you can say, team. was that the best version of LeBron ever? Yes. There's no argument for him being the best player ever in 2013. But you're saying Jordan in 1988 was. No, Is the best what? player ever from a two-way perspective, sure. I, do you remember? He's from that <laughs> he, but, but you said earlier Hakeem had the greatest regular season. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Jeez, man. No, I said if you're looking for the best again season of all time again. But Hakeem really, is a two way player. Yeah, and he won the title that year too. So two way player. This is, what I, this is what I don't get. This is what I don't get. Why can't we just have a year that y'all can give us that says Michael Jordan was the greatest? Because what y'all year is that? I just to say that it. It. No, I because y'all run. say team and team is matter. Because if I bring up 2009, you're gonna say what happened? When he okay. happened, he lost a choke. Let me so again, what you're I'm asking you, what year is Michael Jordan's year from you, Craig? Ask me what I'm asking you, Craig. I'm not asking no one else. What year can we say or that you say Michael Jordan? This was the best Michael Jordan. Everything came in and fitted right. This was Michael Jordan. I said, if you want to talk about skill wise and production, I would say '92. And if it was, and if we were adding team success, and if I added team success, it would be '96. Okay. So, 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 Okay, so ninety two, so ninety two. It was top. Okay, it was top, okay, top okay no, I got you. I got no. You're right. Teams. We're not going to argue. They they were one of the greatest teams of all time. So you don't have to explain that. So you're saying that the ninety two Jordan was basically Jordan at his peak, skill wise, playing wise. They did win a championship. He was the league MVP. So that's the year that you guys want us to say was equivalent mm-hmm. to twenty thirteen LeBron. You yeah, you could say yeah. I would say. What about you, Travis? Is ninety two the year same for you for Jordan? That could be equivalent to 2013? I'd say if you're talking about the most well-rounded Jordan as far as where he started to uh, develop like his mid-range jumper a little bit more, then mm-hmm. you can't say that. I'm thinking, but if you're looking for where he just blew away everything statistically and we're saying, okay, that's the best version of a two-way player we're going to get, you mm-hmm. can argue for either, I, I would say it's still 88, the stats say that, but if you're looking for like the best version of Jordan from an mm-hmm. all-around perspective, it was probably mm-hmm. 92 or 93, like Craig said. Even 91. Okay, so say. so you're saying 92 is the best Jordan. We're not going off stats. We're talking about the eye test here. So in 1992, uh, that was the best Jordan. But so you, you, heard, you, heard that, you heard that, right, Brandon? Brandon, you heard that, right? You heard that, right, Brandon? I got it. Brandon. All right, so ni- yeah, 92 yeah, is the year now. Cause we want to make sure, cause y'all were mad about 93 when we put them in the. I give you specific series too. 90 uh, Jordan versus the Heat first round. Best uh-huh. playoff series of all time, especially if you're talking about efficiency wise. Yo, Travis, you be yo, Travis, you oh be jumping. Travis, you just be Travis, just be jumping into the best series of all time. You just talking about that new expansion team, in Miami. Oh, see, here we go with the cup. It's always an excuse for joy. It's I mean, Miami you know, just came into the NBA. <laughs> So you, you know what? You know, you know the thing about um, when a player is great when they hit um, ad- adversity, like what LeBron did in Game Six versus Boston. You see LeBron come out. You see LeBron in in the last three games versus Golden State. You see greatness come out. So that's why I put up, you know, the Game Six when he, they're winning the title. When you know things are, are on the line, it's pretty pretty easy in Game Two in the first well, round or well, the second I, round. I'll, I'll raise you, Travis, right? You, you said Michael Jordan's 92 series versus the 
the actual uh, Miami Heat, whatever, which was a three game sample, which is funny. You like the three game sample, all right? I'll it's give you. Serious. No, I'll give. Listen, I'll give you 2020 LeBron, where he played a five game series where he averaged 27 points per game, 10 rebounds, 10, uh, 10 assists, shot 60% from the field. 46% from three-point land, and they won that series 4-1 versus the Portland Trailblazers, who have a top 75 players of all time on the roster. While you brought up the 1992 where Jordan did average 45 points per game, he averaged 10, uh, almost 10 uh, rebounds, but I'll give him 10. It's 9.7, seven assists, and shooting 61% from the field, and he didn't shoot not one three-pointer and won that series 3-0 in 1992. So I, you said that was the best series. I'll still take the triple-double game. And that's LeBron James right there, and that, and that that was against a better team as well. Mm. And I got more, I got I got more series if I if you want to go there, but I don't, I, I didn't want to. That's a twenty twenty. I mean, we're not arguing that was a well. better team, huh? I'm not arguing that that was a better team than LeBron faced. No, Although I think team, that was one I'm of the you the, No, you said that Jordan series was the greatest series of all time. I'm giving you one that LeBron is better. That's what I'm telling you. I gave you, I raised you one. Oh, you gave agree me to one. Disagree. I gave you. <laughs> Depends if you look at steals and blocks. I mean. Uh, I mean, you want to you want to look at steals and blocks as well. I mean, in twenty twenty sure. against the against the Detroit Pistons, he had averaged so he had six steals. So he averaged one steal a game, and basically, I think it's about what two two blocks. So he didn't have that much blocks or steals. How much Jordan had? Uh, so Jordan on that uh, he, he had he, three, averaged, he had nine steals. Yeah. So he averaged three steals. And also and, three and steals a game and one block and one block. And so one block and one block. Generally. His mm-hmm. when he was at his peak, he had three steals a game. So better defensively, yeah, but, arguably better offensively. Yeah, but if if I give you another series with LeBron James, better right? rebounder. Twenty sixteen, LeBron James mm-hmm. scored tw- twenty six points per game. He wasn't a better rebounder. LeBron Not a better James uh, on a, par. Eight, and a half, eight and a half rebounds, eight and a half rebounds, seven assists, shooting sixty two percent from the field. And in this series, LeBron James had a block per game and he had two steals per game. So and he shot better from yeah exactly and they beat the Toronto Raptors four two and and Milwaukee and Milwaukee when LeBron uh, when when Milwaukee when he was in his yes yeah when he was in Milwaukee (laughs) in his in Milwaukee in his I'm just saying because when he mentioned the other teams he mentioned they star players then he just glossed over Toronto like they didn't yes Toronto had Toronto had all NBA players right. No, they had all. They had all. NBA they had they have two of them? That's what you said against Portland. They had a top seventy-five huh? against Toronto, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, I, I didn't, a top seventy-five all, player on Toronto. They had an all NBA player though. Oh, oh see, they had an all NBA they player. <laughs> they didn't have there two all go. NBA players. Kyle Lowry won the all NBA player. Huh? There we go. But he didn't say that. He didn't say that in Portland. He he made, he made sure it was top seventy-five. Like there's not too many a lot of of those. No, because the Heat didn't have any. The Heat didn't have any. The Heat didn't have any. I asked about Toronto, though. From my understanding, from my understanding, from my understanding, Carmelo Anthony in 2022 was a super help to LeBron James. He must have been super help to Damian Lillard and at 15 points per game. So I don't know what you're talking about. No, Johnny. Toronto have a top 75. Player. You guys are you guys are talking about you guys are talking about again. What, what's the question? I said so, did John, Toronto have a top seventy five player on that roster when you run LeBron James stats like you did with Portland. No, they didn't have no top seventy five. All right, so what was the point of bringing up a top seventy five player? To just make sure y'all know that the Portland uh, had a good team. <laughs> okay. So uh, Johnny, you're missing, <laughs> so wait, I, I, wait, wait, okay. so I can't so wait, can't bring, bring up, so I can't bring up so, is good. No, it, I bring it up because I don't have to tell you Toronto was a good competition. You should already know that. Just in case you, you wanted to see. No one brings up Toronto. Toronto was the number one seed. Toronto yeah. was the number one seed. But did they have a top 75 player? That's what we were the number one seed. They were the why best do they have to have a top Why do they have to have that? They were the number one seed. They were the number one seed. So they are better than Portland. Because Portland, because what am I supposed to bring up for Portland? Who, who was that Miami? You didn't bring that up for Toronto. You just went to Miami. No, no. What am I supposed to bring up for Portland? Was it good enough to just say the Portland Trailblazers? Was that good enough? It was good It was good enough to say Toronto Raptors, right? Yeah, because y'all know how good Toronto, Toronto is. Because you know Toronto how good Toronto is. Toronto was a better team. They were the number one seed. Oh. So, they were the better so, team. What, hey, what seed was the Heat? What, 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 what seed was the Heat, Travis? They, they, were the, they were the eighth seed. Okay, they were the so, eighth seed. Who was Brandon, their best your, player? You're wait, wait. So, so Travis, so Travis, you think that's fair for to compare a three-game stretch to 
a series where LeBron have to play minimum more games. That's a fair comparison. Well, or 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 you make it fair by just by giving him a three game stretch as well. well That's what it is. 30, three games. You're wildly missing the point, which is that they have to actually crop me out uh, earlier when I said that Mike led in assists and that was a record because I don't want that kind of smoke. So we have to like, said that. get down on there. <laughs> I didn't say that. You said it multiple no, times. But Travis, the, the reason you said that, though, Travis, the reason you said that is, is because just like what we're going through right now, we can't talk about Jordan objectively. You guys have to make up things to seem like Jordan is better than he, than we already all know Not he all is. the time. Yes, all the time. You guys can't stick Not to just the, the normal just stuff. Time. <laughs> Can I ask, uh, do you do, do people think that Jordan's teammates were underrated because of his ball dominance? Um, and maybe his teams were a lot better going into some of these series or throughout his championship run than he they may have people may believe he is. they are. No. I, I believe they didn't use Tony Kukos the way they should have because I think he was a mismatch versus a lot of the league. He was a 6'11 four who can handle the ball. And I don't I don't think nobody can match up versus him. And the Bulls didn't exploit that versus anybody during that time. I got a reason I want to ask this question, but Craig, what do you think? What would you ask, Craig? It, basically, with Jordan being like a, a black hole as far as, you know, dominating the ball and shooting the ball. Yeah. Yeah, no, Craig, Craig do, do you do you believe Michael Jordan's teammate were better than what they were, but Jordan didn't use them effectively? That's the question. Yeah, he had the field, he had the best three point percentage field goal play on his team ever. Uh, what about what about when BJ and Horace made the made the All Star game uh, without Jordan? Listen, being? you want to be an All Star, you want to win a fucking title. Come on now, stop. I'm just stop saying, people that. always bring up that. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. He answered your question, boycott. King that. King Money Fly has been very patient. He came on, he got kicked out. King Money Fly, shout out to him. Y'all could actually catch him on TikTok as he goes live on TikTok as well. Go ahead, brother. What you got for us? Man, what's going on, man? Just been in here listening all day, man. I want to say from uh some starters about when y'all was comparing LeBron to Jordan. To me, I mean LeBron been better than him since 07 because the way how he did it with the team he had. Hold on, get <laughs> so, so the way he did it, the it, the finals and then left them. It, 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 it doesn't even matter. It's the whole point that he's the only player to come in the league <laughs> to um, to do the things that he did without having another significant big player on his team, bro. You can't name you another big time significant player that he played with. Like when Kobe came in, he had a shot. You know what I'm saying? Or when, when Magic came in, he had Kareem. He's like one of the only players to come in that didn't really have another significant other big baller on his team, and he took him there. So, like, when he did that, I was like, he's already a better player to me. It's just going to take time for him to get some hardware for people to accept it. But when he did that, he was already a better basketball player. Like my man said earlier, he's a willing passer. When you got somebody who's willing to pass and let his team eat, it makes the game more easier. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and I like that about Bron. Like, he's a willing passer. Most people... You know, nowadays they do pass the ball, but they want to have that, I guess, quote unquote, killer mentality or whatever people want to say, right? Just, just avoid the dumb play that people do. Like y'all say, when y'all want to take bad shots, y'all y'all promote that. Like, okay, y'all ain't saying how efficient he was, but y'all just like, oh, them are bad shots, but he made it, and you giving them credit for it. But it's like, but bro, you don't have to do all that if you understand it's the team basketball. If you get your team involved, you won't have to do all that unnecessary stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You can actually save more energy and, and exert more than them, them just doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, but, like I said, since 2007, I always had Brown better than Mike. Just because, like I said, just by that team alone and what he did and then the amount of pressure he had, he's been better than him since he came in a door. Jordan couldn't come into high school. I know it wasn't really big back then, but he wasn't going to do it anyways. And then when he got picked, you let Sam Bowie get picked before you, bro. How the fuck you draft Sam Bowie before Michael Jordan? You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like, they drafted Sam Bowie before Michael Jordan. Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you didn't have that issue when LeBron came in the league. We knew he was going to be great. Like, when somebody was like, well, you comparing somebody at four years in the league compared to this dude here. But if you go by the age, he's still better than Jordan. Regardless, if you just go by the age, you can you can forget 
thought of 2007 and compared him to the 88, whatever. Just go by the age strictly alone. He's still better than him by the age, bro. And he's still currently better than him right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but people like Nick Pick just to like, you know, hate on his greatness, man. It's like because he did some things that they didn't think he was going to be able to do. So now that if he's not going to catch the ring, we're just going to nitpick about everything that he doesn't do well. Like, and then we just gloss over whatever Jordan didn't do. Like, anytime we do bring up Jordan, people just gloss over it. Like, okay, it never happened. Or it's an excuse. Like, Buddy just said it was an excuse on, um, about the expansion league, right? But but y'all give an excuse for LeBron. Oh, it's a bubble. Oh, it's a bubble. Oh, oh, Draymond got suspended. That's only why he won. But when we say that Jordan did this and it was an expansion league, it was a problem. That's an excuse. But y'all don't, y'all like to do the excuses for when LeBron win, when he wins. Like somebody said he won in the shortest season one time on TikTok. And I was like, bro, but you act like he's the only one that ever won on a shortest season, like a last 10 season. He wasn't the only player to do that. But they like to emphasize it more on him because it's LeBron James. Like, you know, they don't really give him no breathing room for his errors like a lot of other players. Like we gloss over, like we say, like how we gloss over the fact like KD right now, he's one of the greats, but he haven't done anything really tremendously on his own to the extent like of LeBron James. I say he haven't won an MVP, but we give him so many passes, like like it's cool. Like this man don't keep making these teams and not going nowhere. But people instead of giving him passes and grace, but then they want to big him up and put him on the spectrum. Like, okay, like, oh yeah, he's such and such. And like people, some people got him like top 10 all the time. But for me, KD will never be top 10 right now. He got to win on his own. Like until he went on his own, then I can kind of like, I can kind of like bump him up. But he's not in my top 10 all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not a two-way player and he hasn't really done anything significant on his own to put him up in that status to be a top 10. Most of my top 10 players are people who've done significant big things on their own. Or, you know, they won. It doesn't matter if they won with other players, but they have done something more on their career to sustain that. You know what I'm saying? KD don't have a long list of stuff on his on his career that he has done. I know he got an MVP. I know he got the 50, 40, 90 season and stuff like that. But then that's it. He doesn't have no rebound championship, no assists, no steal titles. He don't have no all-NBA defensive team. Yes, he got NBA all-team. That's cool. But you know what I'm saying? But then you got other players who got all that plus more. You know, he do got two finals MVP, but you got other players who got that plus more. So it's like you got to rate it off of that. But, you know, like I say, sometimes people just overrate stuff, and, you know, they don't want to tell the truth. So I'm kind of glad you guys is exposing this, especially with this. We all done it with the 90s. But I kind of feel like what Chill was saying earlier, you kind of got to be careful who you say that around because we just ain't going to disrespect it and act like the other era didn't exist. And that's what I hate about Jordan fans. They they criticize everybody's era but his era. Like, we're not allowed to talk about nothing that was going wrong with the 90s. We say something about the 90s, we don't know basketball. Or we hate it. Or you, 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 you just, just insults this on top of insults when you say anything badly about Jordan. Like, they don't never let you talk. Like, yesterday I was in a live TikTok live and we was talking about the NBA rules. I want y'all guys to talk about it. I'm trying to figure out what was the point of them putting the NBA rule for Charles Barkley on his second way, his second to last year out the league. Why would you make a rule when his second to last year in the league? That don't make no sense. You understand what I'm saying? So you guys changed the back five seconds back down rule to the league, I mean to the basket, when it was his second year coming out leaving the league. He only averaged 16 points. So for me, that don't even make any sense. I would have thought you did that when he was more dominant, when he was younger. Not when he's older. He damn near almost out the league. But you changed the rule then. That don't even make sense to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, I don't know, man. It just be crazy how how NBA world is right now. I know it's subjective, you know what I'm saying? So we, got, we, got you, we got you, we got you, we got you, King Fly. We, we got you. We heard what you say. Uh, uh, we want to address the people that are in the, uh, the the super chats. Thank you guys again for joining us. We are the GOAT James Kingdom platform. Just to uh, address you right quick, King Money Fly, even though they put the rule in in 99, it basically was because of Charles Barkley because the game was just too slow. Teams just used to sit there and let guys post up and post up and take up the whole clock, and it was just bad basketball. So they changed the rules by 99, but that was because of Barkley's whole effect throughout the 90s and how other teams used to do the same thing, just like the the Carl Malone days. They could score 50 points in a finals game. But let's address this here. Reggie Red says, Isaiah Thomas said, also said, Jordan averaged 37 against the Pistons. Well, he only averaged 30 for those series. That was what he averaged throughout the series. Then he asked, he said, at some nights, he got hot. Question, if the NBA skilled now, how do the ratings suck? Again, the NBA ratings don't suck. 
You guys got to stop lying. People don't sit at home and watch games on TNT and NBC because they got nothing else to do. People have basketball games available to them on their phones, laptops, illegal streaming. There is so many ways to watch the game today. We don't have to watch it on TNT and NBC. Most people I know don't even have cable. Also, Johnny. No, hold on. I I, I want to just address the other ones because Quan Johnson said, competition matters. Thank you so much, Quan Johnson, for your support. And then he put here, bro, they act like Jordan wasn't playing against bumps. That's why we looked so... That's why he looked so good. Y'all 90s was trash. Quan is probably a young dude who watched basketball during the Kobe Bryant and and Stephen Curry LeBron era. So when he goes back and look at the 90s, that shit is trash to them. I can't look at my 16-year-old son and tell him he needs to feel the same way about Tupac that I did. Tupac is not his generation. That shit was good for the 90s, but we've been watching basketball 30 years later. There's no way you guys can sit here and tell me this shit still looks good. Well, Pac it's actually man, I, hey, but, I mean, Johnny, you gotta admit, you gotta admit, that's different from the Tupac thing. But him saying he don't he don't feel the way you feel about Tupac, that's understandable. That's called perspective. But have your son ever listened to a Tupac song say this dude is trash? That's true. No, but no, <laughs> but, but my no no, but my son will tell me Uzi Vert is better. Uh, he'll tell me he likes the what's it called album? What's that kid? Uh, Tyler the Creator album, better. All right, because, I'm, I'm gonna be respectful. I'm just, I'm no, just no, be respectful. Listen, no, 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 no. He's, he's sixteen. He's sixteen years that. old, nigga. He's sixteen, <laughs> nigga. No, he's don't 16. do that, Johnny. Don't do that, that's Johnny. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, but, no, 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 but that's what I'm saying. That. You can't. No, you can't sit there and expect him to feel Tupac the way we felt Tupac when we were sixteen and seventeen years old. He's not That's gonna true. have that feeling. Hey Johnny, hey Johnny, hey Johnny. So wait, 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 wait. So Tyler created my us, generation. So he tells us, that no, no, he likes Tupac. Though. No, listen, he likes Tupac. He never told me Tupac sucks. He never told me that. But it's different for him. And his he's not gonna he's not hey, going okay. to listen to it in the same way. The same way that when they go back and watch the nineties, it's different. When that kid went to the nineteen ninety one NBA finals, game one, he didn't go find Michael Jordan's worst game or nothing. He said he he found a game that he saw Jordan play good in that he could watch the whole game. Game. He charted everything Michael Jordan did on the basketball court. They got mad at him for what he saw. They're mad now because there's a bunch of there's a bunch of kids that are under 30 who are agreeing that damn this shit is kind of trash. Because nobody has time. Listen, y'all don't even watch today's NBA, let alone sit at home watching the NBA from 30, 40 years ago. That's why y'all are liars. That's why we come here and go James Kingdom and talk the stats because the stats tell us more than anything. I can go back and watch uh, uh, only a few of MJ games, but I can go back and see every stat from every game Jordan played. That's why the stats matter more than anything. Your film and your eyes is just your perspective. Like you said, A-Star, that's your perspective. And everyone has a different perspective. We can all be looking at the same footage and get nine different perspectives. So that means whatever we're seeing doesn't matter. What do the stats say? You can't get nine different perspectives looking at the stats. When Jordan has 33 points and he's shooting 50% from the field and his team wins, that says he's played great. But when we go look at the stats and see him jacking up a bunch of shots and missing some, that doesn't sound that great. That's the whole point. That's what y'all fail to realize, and that's the whole point. Like y'all, y'all are the ones who allow these guys to continue to lie because every every last one of y'all want to praise your player. We don't have to do nothing. But we don't have to make up shit. All the stats say LeBron is the goat. We don't have to make up shit. But guess what? Y'all got three hours of me and Brandon making up shit. So which one do y'all like more? Do y'all like the subjective a Johnny and Brandon, or do y'all like the objective a Johnny and Brandon? Let's start with you, Craig. Which one is the better? The subjective one? version was hilarious. But Which one's better, Craig? Be, no, no, no. I like, the, I, I like when you ask me a question and I answer it, that the other uh-huh. one don't come and try to ask a question on top of it while I'm answering it. That's the one I like. Okay, I agree. Yeah. We, we, no disrespect, Craig. You're hey, the John, man. But, no, the, ra- no, no. the ratings, the ratings uh-huh. thing is just, is just, I don't know why people use ratings and, and equip that with skill level. Like networking and drawing an audience, even if that was true, are mm-hmm. two completely different things for a network and skill basketball. We're just talking about basketball skills. We're not talking about but like they if don't a network. Rep- 
But they, yeah, the, problem, Ishmael, the problem is, Ishmael, they don't represent the NBA fan base. The NBA is not losing viewership every time. Of course, they, I know it's more Every global. time they get a new contract, no. Every time they get a new television contract, it's higher than what it was the, the, the last time they got the contract. They're going to do yeah, a new I, one, I'm, I'm and sure, it's going to it be, just... and it's going to be higher. You know why? Because TNT, ABC, NBC, all these channels know that the NBA draws viewership. When they see 225 million people on your phone, I watch games on Prime Video on my phone. Because yeah. I have the league package, I don't right, have to I'm, watch. Yeah, so yeah. Though, though, they, they don't they don't account for that. These guys who they don't watch the game, Ishmael. They, they and they admit to you. We have guys come up here and say, "I stopped watching in two thousand three. I've been stopped." Right, Craig? Right? How many times y'all heard it? Right, Brandon? I, oh, I, I don't watch today. I don't watch today's NBA. It's trash. It's garbage. All of this is a three point contest. These guys can't play. It's traveling. It's flopping. Nobody has a left hand. All this other nonsense. That's what we hear all the fucking time from guys who are not real NBA fans. The NBA know who their fans are. That's why LeBron is still the face of the league. And the league I, is I still doing say, better now than it was doing in the 90s. It's better course, now. Of course it is. I just wanted to say, though, because a lot of them don't know that the 90s basketball was competing with the WWF in terms of marketing. Like they had to glorify Jordan in order it was WCW, to WCW actually. Yeah, <laughs> what the WWF was in the nineties too. Okay, whatever. Yo, and that's but, still bad. You talking about the WCW? But the, the thing is that they were competing with them in that market. So it's like they, they had to glorify Jordan. Like if Jordan was not in the nineties, the product of the game will be awful. It will be really bad. So like the glorification of Michael Jordan does not constitute to make it seem like it was better basketball those are no two but but ishmael yeah. the problem is what you understand is it was good for the 90s it was great television man when you turned on nbc on a sunday afternoon and you heard that -na 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 -na, <laughs> it was great it was and, fucking and you, great nobody's notice, denying that shit but it's not great now 30 years later that shit is not great when when we went from roll up windows to push button fucking windows going up we didn't say, oh my God, I still wish I could fucking roll down my window with, the, with fucking rollers. <laughs> We're happy we fucking could do the shit with fucking, come on, guys. Like, it's just it's just evolution. The game is fucking better now. There's more spacing because guys can shoot now. You don't have a fucking... Yeah, the game is cleaner. The game is better. It's, it's, it's just a better game. Guys can do more moves. They're evolving the game. It's the greatest game. We have a seven foot five guy dribbling in between his leg doing stack pack threes. What are y'all talking about? Like, that's what the eye test says. And you this know is, the funny thing crazy. about the funny thing about the '90s and how they glorified the '90s. They didn't really do stuff like that in, in baseball. In baseball, they kind of like erased the whole steroids era. Like that whole era, they're like, "Yo, that sh that that steroids, era didn't steroids exist. don't help yeah. nobody in basketball. Steroids don't help nobody in basketball. Jordan bulking up didn't help him beat Detroit Pistons or nothing at all. You cannot be bulking basketball. Basketball is a game of skill. You can you can be Joker and have no muscle mass and dominate the game. Yeah, what, what yeah, I mean by that is you got to check. You got to the check. They had a black guy no. in baseball. And that's why and that's why when Shaq got non-athletic that his game went down because he didn't have the skill to continue to play after his athleticism went down. That was the problem with the 90s. There was a lot of athletic guys that entered the league that were using their athleticism. Like Allen Iverson said, I didn't have a left neither. He didn't like going left. Right. He didn't like using his left hand because he was just quicker than everybody. But once he lost his step, what happened to him? His skill level is gone. Same thing with Dwayne Wade. Same thing with a lot of those guys. Because But today's players, you're not going to have that. They're more skilled. Stephen Curry is going to be able to play for a very long time without his athleticism because he is skilled. Kevin Durant is skilled. These guys, could, LeBron James could lose a step, lose jumping ability, and still dominate because of skill. We are talking about guys who are skilled at the game of basketball. Jordan was skilled, but he's just not as skilled as what we see today. Like, like, like Brandon said, Anthony Edwards was better than Jordan in 1993, bro. The the, this is the difference in, in mm -hmm. yesterday's NBA and today's NBA. The quality of the role players today is way, they're way, like A. Johnny saying, they're way more skilled. So look look what D'Angelo Russell just did. He just dropped 44 points. You're not going to really have a role player guy like that in the 90s be able to do that. It, 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 that's very rare. So the role players in, in today's NBA are way better. Like he said, just way more skilled. So that's why I, I, I feel like it's not even a, I understand why people are saying we're done with the 90s. Because if you're not talking about the superstars of the 90s, you're not really going to watch the NBA back then. You're just not. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Then, then, then Rich Chapman dropped 50 on Jordan? He's a role player. 
bro. That's mm -hmm. rare. You're crazy. Thanks, Jamie. That's a good one, Sturdy. No, but this, but you know what? This is to bring up like that point. Like, but this is to bring up that point. Just to show you why the we are the '90s or why the '90s is trash thing is bringing up. Imagine that. Now people think because LeBron is not in the game that D'Angelo Russell could put up 44 anytime. That right. that's 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 what I'm saying. Like that shows you how it is. The the real problem is is that there is a large mass. Uh, a population of basketball fans or quote unquote basketball fans who are stuck thinking the 90s and Michael Jordan is the greatest only to hate on watching today's game because LeBron is so great. If, if, if they if they accept the greatness of today's NBA, they have to accept LeBron's greatness. So to diminish yeah. LeBron and to continue to hate on LeBron, they have to continue to say all of this doesn't matter. You can score 73 points because they don't play no defense. It's flopping. They travel. All They can bring up all of these things to continually diminish what we watch on a night-to-night -night basis as real basketball fans. Like, I'm right. a real fan. I watch the games, bro. I see, I see Jalen Brown has a left hand. But I've been arguing this for two years because y'all only watch him in the playoffs. So if I only watched Jordan in 1989 versus Detroit Pistons and I say, well, listen, I that's what I saw, I'm going to see a bad basketball player. It's not going to be a good basketball player. That's what y'all do to everybody else but Jordan. And that's why the, the, the whole 90s and 80s thing is, is need to be brought up because people use it for magic. They use it for Bird. They use it for Jordan. Those three guys have a large nostalgia that is predicated on just nostalgia because when you go watch the game, Larry Bird didn't have muscle mass. Magic hey, Johnson Jeff. barely dribbled with his left hand. It's true. Hey, Can I ask you the same question? Like, like, like that's, like, like that's, no, no, that's no, one, one of the reasons why um, why a lot of younger fans go and look at the games and say that, how can you guys say that this era was great? If you look at the footage, like we pulled Michael Jordan's 63-point game, and they're saying that we're cherry-picking. Like that's right. how it is. Like that's how – the, the younger kids are looking at the game. That, that. So that is, that is how they're, talk, they're looking at the game. They're, they're like, look, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like look, looking at the footage, and it's all grain, grainy. You could barely make out who Michael Jordan is, and they're like, how is this great? I, That's let me tell you something. Every time Wait, hey, John, hey, what, 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 go ahead, Stoney. Go ahead, Stoney. No, got something for me. Go ahead, Stoney. I'm listening. Hey, Johnny, but like, is it fair? Can I ask you this question? Do you do this? Like the same way it's a nostalgic hold on to the 90s legends as guys do with Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. Do you do the same thing for, Matt, for John Stockton? No, I watched the point guards of today compared to John Stockton. <laughs> I'm not seeing him do I'm not seeing him do what Luke was doing. I'm not no. seeing him do what SGA's and doing. I, and again, and again, like they got left hands. And like I always tell you, our logic isn't y'all's logic, not you, but those people's logic. We don't do that because when we go look at the stats, it tells you how great Stockton was, whether your eye test doesn't like it or not. That's what mm -hmm. you guys fail to realize. That no matter what y'all say about LeBron's game, whether he has a post-up, a mid-range or not, the stat says he's great. That's what you guys fail to realize. So, yeah, we again, we can knock all errors. We've always told you guys we don't do that in Goat James Kingdom. We always appreciate all eras and recognize them for what they are and what they did in those eras. But we also know that today's era is better. And if you give us 20 years and we're still doing Goat James Kingdom on YouTube, you, which probably won't happen. Because that's like me saying 20 years from now when there is no YouTube. Oh, man, them YouTube days was great. Y'all should have seen us on YouTube. We was on YouTube three hours a day on the Sunday arguing about Jordan and LeBron. Y'all sitting here talking about Benjamin Hitchman and, and, and whoever. Like you shouldn't say like Benjamin Hitchman. <laughs> Benjamin Hitchman. Y'all know who Benjamin Hitchman is. He has 18 championships, 80,000 points. That's Benjamin who Benjamin Hitchman. Hitchman, Hitchman. Oh. Benjamin Hitchman. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. Like that. Th at the end of the day, bro, we gotta appreciate greatness. That's what we do in Goat James Kingdom, and you know that, Sturdy. We appreciate greatness. So we've mm -hmm. never knocked Michael Jordan, but we Go just always group him and, and see if you believe what he just said. Go look at the post. I want to put that question. <laughs> Go look at the room. Every word is All right, look, we're, going, well, we're going to let everybody get their last word, and we're going to start with Travis because we got to get up out of here, man. Listen, yeah, Benjamin Hitchman is the GOAT, man. Y'all know who Benjamin Hitchman is. Y'all should know. Y'all should already know who Benjamin Hitchman is. But go ahead, Travis. We're going to get your last word. Ask Quinn Man your question, please. All right, well, I'm just going to really quick. So when you're saying that, again, obviously the skill level, I'll agree with you that the skill levels increase as far as uh, players come in with an emphasis on three-point shooting, of course. But when you're talking about – like, what, what are you using to say they're uh, across the map better? Are you talking about overall shooting percentage? Because that's not, that's a lie. You're talking about overall three-point percentage? It's about the same. I'm talking, talking about, about rebounding the ability assist? now. 
I'm, I'm talking the, about the ability now to stretch the floor from every position. That ability. So, and like, it on just, let's, just, let's just stop right. Let's just stop right there. That's the yes. main reason why it today's NBA shooting. is better yes. because the ability from one through five to stretch the floor to make it easier on your superstar for the ability for your role players to be able to create their own shots. There wasn't a bunch of role players back then able to create their own shot. There's not now. You, you relied on your superstars for that. <laughs> you're not. Whoa. You're not seeing a bunch of people creating their own shot. That's like Yo, Travis. Travis, what? Travis. What? You want to say, Travis? Luka, Luka Doncic oh, does not create his own shot. No, no, no. Joker We're does not, not create about, his own We're shot. We're not talking about the superstars. Just like. Any era, D'Angelo Russell thing. did not create his own shot. When LeBron passing the ball and said, "Stop giving me the ball, make a shot happen," what did he do? He shot it. Okay, so he so created no. He, he created a shot. He created his own shot and made it. The difference is the difference is today. The difference is today they could create their shot. Listen, the difference is today they could create their shot thirty feet from the rim and they don't have to be fifteen feet or ten feet. You guys are giving players credit for doing things ten feet from the rim, but you don't want to give them credit for doing it thirty feet from the rim. They are still creating their. I just said there's an emphasis on three point shooting. There is. But no, but that's but that's not a bad but that's not a bad thing, Travis. It's not, it's not a bad, bad thing. It's just an explanation as to what. That's an extra said. skill. That no, but that's an extra skill that didn't exist that's back extra, then. Well, hold up. That's so the point. Extra, it didn't exist back like then. Huh? No, it didn't, Travis, didn't the exist saying, back then, Travis. And, and honestly, that that's the only point that matters. You have the ability percentage. one through five, and you know you have your role player who can. Like he said, create that shot 30 feet from the rim, but he can also, if I give him a screen, he's not going to pick up the ball and look to give me the ball back. He can drive the lane. He can drive and kick. Okay. Are you like, saying there's just a that... lot more skills today's role players have than than, than the 90s role players. That's are you saying Tra that... Travis, Travis, Travis landed here so we can everybody go so we can get oh, a body. Go ahead, okay. Travis. What I'm saying is that if we take and juxtapose different players, again, from different, specifically, let's say the 90s to today, Again, all points are created equal. It doesn't matter how you get them. I'm saying if you look on a per capita basis, the role players, again, they're going to stack up with today's role players, especially if you adjust for pace and shot attempts per game. It's not some big blowout like everyone keeps preaching. Yeah, the role players are significantly better than in the 90s. <laughs> significantly Based better. On. Hey, um, okay, <laughs> Travis, um, do you think Anthony Carr could create his own shot? I mean, it depends what kind of spread, spread the floor. Do you think Horace Grant? Um, Horace Grant. Adam Do you think Horace Grant can create his own shot? No, Horace no, Grant. no. Let's let's keep 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 it to the Jazz. Um, Anthony Keith. You probably know who he is. Greg Foster Tag. Greg Foster. Foster. Power. Can create his own shot. Tag was I mean, there's, there's all these players were. You had good was minutes in the finals, and no, they're they're not as skilled as these players are today. So let's keep it moving. Yeah, come, Craig, Craig. Any last words? Jerry Pick. No, any last words? <laughs> like I said, I, I, it's just a whole lot, but I'm going to just keep this short. Like, it... I don't know. Y'all keep saying people will hate. Y'all keep paying attention to these idiotic people. Like I said, if you don't have LeBron James top two, you don't know basketball. Like, <laughs> that's this point. Like, y'all keep entertaining people who don't know basketball and getting mad at me for them. I just made it correct. Craig, we're not Bye, mad at you, Craig. You know you're not mad at you, but you know sometimes you try to take one for the team. And I, you get, listen, you get I mad. just don't like how hypocritical. Y'all literally argue with Jordan would not score 50, and then, hey, was Jordan in 96 winning 88? I want you to answer that question. Like, how you going to tell me? Why can't my hypothetical don't make sense, but I have to answer your hypothetical. So, know. so do you think Jordan would average 50 points today? No, I don't think that. But the NBA okay. players who played against him think it. And y'all, no, it, it was, was it was only for about about 1988 Jordan that you said was LeBron. Hey, Le supposedly, time. supposedly LeBron doesn't think Jordan could do that. He said that's very disrespectful. Metal One so. Piece said he would average 50. Freaking Tracy McGrady said it. Kobe's a lot of and, these but, players but the, said it. But a lot, but, but a lot. I say it. I don't know basketball. Huh? But a lot Durant of people say the same. No, today. but there's if players that say, no, wait, there's players today that said Kobe Bryant and LeBron James and Stephen Curry would average 50 and 60 in the 80s and the 90s. So let's move on. So King John, you got any last words? Um, what uh, The one thing I do appreciate about uh, we done with the 80s and the 90s, that is it has forced people to go back and look at film. So um, that's the one thing I do appreciate with uh, I'm done with the 80s and I'm done with the 90s has done is made people go back and actually look at what really happened. 
yeah. True that. True that. Sturdy, any last words, brother? Oh, uh, we are done with the nineties. I'm sick of people telling me that. <laughs> I'm sick of people telling me and to quote the great young uh, A. John. Y'all still talking about the 1900s? Like, bro, like, I am done with people telling me that John Stock is the top five point guard of all time. I'm done with it. I'm sick of the noise. When I go back and watch the film, I see a pale, unathletic white man can't score on his own, can't create on himself on a consistent basis, wait for pen down, a complete Carmelo merchant, Get all this credit as if we can compare him to point guard of his era on today's era. Big trash. Garbage. No garbage. garbage. <laughs> no hops. No oh, tween tween. Right, Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but uh, but all said, no. <laughs> all said, <laughs> nah. But like real talk, like to, to to get back to the video, like y'all, Jordan's only overrated when y'all make him overrated. Man, just keep his career. Accurate. That's all you gotta do. He's not a top ten defender of all time. Stop telling right. people that he's that gold standard is not measured by how good you look, how pretty your game is, how much shoes you sell, how much your career compared to Jordan. Because that's not the case. Even Michael TV Jordan ratings. said himself <laughs> on TV ratings. Michael Jordan said himself that's not how the goat um debate should be measured upon. So when you do those things, you not only do Michael Jordan disservice, but you and unequivocally overrate him. Adrian, no Knight said, Adrian Knight said, folks that are done with the 80s need to stop talking about the, are, are done with the 90s, need to stop talking about the 90s. For all of y'all that are done with LeBron James, y'all need to stop talking about LeBron James. Ishmael, go ahead, brother. You get that last words, please. <laughs> yeah, I think it's good that more, especially the younger generation, or I, I say my generation, um, are starting to look at more of these games, and they're not nitpicking. They're actually watching full games and looking at what's happening. Because a lot of guys even just say that Michael Jordan is the GOAT um, without even having to really dissect his game. And they watch the same air, uh, uh, like him flying in the air. I could believe I can fly highlights 24-7. And, you know, that's just his game. That's what people say. And so I don't think that, you know, necessarily we're diminishing the 90s because they had a lot of guys that was talented. But I do think that that, that league was very overhyped. I mean, when I learned about the illegal defense, I just thought to myself, that's not even real basketball anymore. I never learned off of that, you know. But it's the 1900s. We don't deal with the 1900s. We yeah. deal with the 1900s. <laughs> yeah, but I, like I said, um, I just think that it's good that it's a trending. Like, people are really watching the games. And I th actually take a look at the fact that the mainstream media, including, um, you know, all those guys, even on NBA TNT, have done a terrible job examining – the greater good of how basketball is involved. So, uh, like I said, like it, you know, that's all I got to say is that um, also LeBron James is the greatest of all time. Forty thousand points. LeBron James is the best player of all time. That's all I got to say. Thank you. All right. Any any last words, boycott, please, quick and fast, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, real quick, I just want to say that uh, it was a lack of capability in the nineties. Um, outside of Jordan, there was only two times a player scored. Oh, so in the in the ten scoring titles he won there was only two times a player scored 30 points above 30 points during that time four out of those 10 times he didn't even score 30 points per game um last year 2022 2023 season six players scored uh over 30 points per game so it was just a lack of capability and he dominated because he was no it just pays the play <laughs> oh. travis is not travis is not having today i like you travis you know you Such bad takes. you're the best <laughs> I mean, it's reality. Only Carl Malone scored 30 points per game. In the, in Listen, the yeah, he's just I'm, more efficient I'm, than most I'm, players I'm, today. Try, hey, I'm telling you, this, hey, Travis, I got you, Travis. This is Travis. Travis, wants, need a win. Travis, <laughs> Travis, Travis, need a win. Travis wants to smoke, and he's been asking me to get somebody on. You guys really want Travis? I'm gonna have Travis on Friday night, and I'm gonna let y'all have one on one with Travis, and everybody's gonna I have a chance. To Travis and he's about Kobe. And I Travis, want to talk to and Travis. Travis, hold on, <laughs> Travis said. Wait, Travis has stated Sturdy's takes are horrible. Boycotts is horrible. Twin man, you're horrible. And y'all are be y'all are being called out officially on Goat James Kingdom by Travis. So Friday night is your night. And don't go running because I see y'all running the FYF to debate. So y'all can show up on Friday night exposure to debate. So let's have some fun on a Friday night. Thank you. Thank you, Boycott, for that last take. Twin man, land this and leave Travis alone. Land this. <laughs> <laughs> go 
Go ahead, land this right so me and Brandon can get about here. We can get the Bryant's not top ten. Kobe Bryant's not top ten. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be petty. No, I'm stopping. Let me stop being petty. Let me stop. All right, but all jokes aside, I'm actually glad that this is happening. Because the only thing you heard about Jordan back in the day when I was coming up was that he was a ball hawk and he was a shot chucker. And even if you told those truths, you got you got you got um eviscerated. I can't believe you're saying this. Numbers don't lie. This man would throw up the most shots in the game and he would get 30 points and everybody would rival and ah, oh my God. If you're throwing up 25 shots, you should get 30 points. I'm just saying. It's gonna happen. But <laughs> so let's just take let's 30, just keep this going. shots. You should get forty thousand points, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. No, you are yeah, right. But that's, right. But that's why LeBron's the goal. But that's why LeBron's the goal because he's the only one that can actually do it. Your boy could do, do it. Twin man, finish it. Finish it, Twin I'm man. Just saying, I'm just saying about the more shots you take, the more my, points my, my you make. Is that this. logic? Go ahead. If you go do it for of course you're going to have a lot of points. Oh, you have that's to be the total. To make the buckets. That also that's applies for I'm points saying. per game. That's what he's saying. It also applies. It applies points per game. Go ahead. Go ahead, Twin man. I would like my time to restart. Craig stepped on my time. I had to because that was bad. The bad so takes Friday night. Up. Friday night, you motherfuckers. I, Friday night. Come on, go ahead, go ahead, Twimmy. <laughs> hurry, hurry up. So I like the fact people are going back to look at the nineties. Like you like we like I think everyone can agree it was great for the nineties. But to pretend like that is the gold standard of basketball and it cannot be talked about or critiqued is insane. No one's sitting here saying Jordan is because when I saw it, when I saw the title. I was like, I already know what they mean by they're saying it's overrated. They're talking about people, it's specifically certain broadcasters and fans overrating Jordan's game. They're not sitting here to, saying Jordan. Jordan's you don't have a to speak for us, twin man. You don't have to speak for us, twin man. We we said Jordan's overrated. That's what we said. Don't don't say no more, no less. He's overrated. Okay. Continue. So, <laughs> so continue. Stop. Hurry up, so me and Brandon I need y'all to stop making it seem like the '90s can't be critiqued. If you go back and look at these games, which are most of these people, even the old heads now, probably forgot more than what they probably forgot more than what they watched. That shit just is not comparable to today. From one from the from the point guard position, better. Shooting guard position, better. Every position on the floor has evolved and it's just better. So to sit here and pretend like the 90s is just the standard for basketball needs to stop. It just needs to stop. There are way more 20, 30. There's there's more 30 point scores today than there ever was in the 90s. I need y'all to stop. So all you Jordan fans, get over it. If the game has evolved. There is a new there is a new goat, and that's that. That man's name is LeBron James, and that's because of the resume he has put together. LeBron period. James. Period. All right, Brandon, go ahead, Brandon, so we can get up out of here, man. Oh, yeah, I don't got much to say other than of these stats, the eye test all points to LeBron James. You guys, eye test is terrible. I literally put Jordan game on, and you guys said that's cherry picking because, yes, we all know that LeBron is Michael Jordan. We can see it. You saw it. You saw the little grainy videos mm-hmm. from 40 years ago. Um, yeah, LeBron just a goat. Nothing, nothing else to say about that. Yeah, so listen, ladies and gentlemen, we are the we GOAT James King to pay. Listen, we are the GOAT James Kingdom platform. You guys are more than more than acceptable to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out the membership. I'm going to finish this on this note, and you're going to like this one, Sturdy. When Cannabis told LL Cool J, you may have more cash than me, but you ain't got the skills to eat a like me. In 1997, that was a bar that was the greatest bar of all time. There is not a child that listens to rap today that I could explain how great that rap record represented in our era. They will never understand why Cannabis used those words to say what he had to say. It just doesn't fit under their understanding and perspective. So this is what we're seeing now. No matter how many times you guys show us the footage of Jordan using the left hand, not using the left hand, pulling up jumpers, uh, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, the zesty 80s and the cocaine 80s has been called out. The 90s, for being as trash as it was, yes, it's being called out because today is just different. That was the 1900s. There was nothing great about the 1900s. It's over. Nobody ever says the 90s was greater than anything today. You guys are just bugging. You're just talking about nostalgia. They, nothing's better. Biggie is the greatest rapper. Jay-Z is the greatest rapper. What are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
again, I know guys, again, I know my my son tells me, he tries to let me listen to Tyler, the creator. I can't listen to it. Because again, I heard Biggie. I heard Jay-Z. I heard Pac. I heard Bone Thugs and Harmony. Nah. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't vibe with Easy Vert. It just doesn't fit right with my system. Because again, I just grew up differently. But they, it's the same for them. He, he has these records that you guys see me bring up. All these records that you see that I have here that I bring up are my son's records. But he still likes today's generation. Uh, I can't. That's I grew really up under Future, and I know I know Tupac was better than Future. Okay, I, that was my era, the Future, and all that stuff. I'm not gonna cap and talk about. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna lie about that. We're I'm not gonna listen. That's right, what's right, better. Right, right. We're not. We're not gonna. Yeah, argue, no, we're not gonna. Argue, we're not gonna argue that. Okay. It was I just it, again. It, it was it was just me to give you guys how everybody's perspective is different, and and the true tangible measurements are always going to be the stats. The stats will always tell us who's great, who's not great, including John Stockton. So you guys have a great Sunday afternoon. Thank you for joining Brandon and I on the Goat James Kingdom show. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, King John, for being a part of us every Sunday. Thank you, guys, as far as the special guests that's coming up, like Sturdy, Ishmael, Twin Man, Boycott, King Money Fly. Uh, shout out to Chill Town for showing up. Shout out to all you guys that showed up today to, to, to give your takes. We appreciate everybody. We are the Goat James Kingdom platform. Peace and blessings, y'all. Enjoy your Sunday.